Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And today we have Erlen. Hey, welcome. Two cats. And we're going to be playing some 2600 games today. Oh, back to the, back back to to the, the well. Back to the source. That's right. And we have a, a world premiere today of a game called meow okay so we got some cat themes some i'm cats already in. going on yeah. i will be sad if there's no cats related to the game meow that'd but be what very are the, weird but what are the odds you know <laughs> something called meow and no cats that'd be a stretch it's like why would they call it meow but we've got the developer in the chat so he can talk about the game as that's we play so it. sick uh it's uh we've also got space instigators uh 20th anniversary edition uh, and uh, also a game called Role Play, Roll R O L L. Oh, nice. Um, and uh, yeah, so I wanted to thank the Twitch subscribers who help support <laughs> the show and keep the cats in treats. Look at, look at Atari. He's like got his head on your bag. He's yeah, like, he's resting. He's, he's, he's found he's found a home already. Yeah. He's on the books, the journals. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, I'm absorbing all the he's knowledge. Just taking in the info. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank Alan the Fur, Arms Car Coder, Atari Ninja 74, Atari Age, Atari's Maximus, Beef, Beef Supreme, BR Polka, Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Pinball. Uh, playing words. Uh, Chelsea, Donnie Mao, Charles Wheel, and Chitla, Cole Patch, Colonel Lima, Cubanismo, DNO, Dan FC, Drex, Dr. Mukaz, Gamma Def, Glenn Main, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Azure Rapper, Johnny WC, Kobito Genso, Carl G. Ken Jennings, Invader, Ken, Kev Kelly, Gveltfer, Lambda Express, Lord DZ, Mark Yanis, Mark Space, Segmental Atari, McMuse, Mike Sol, McTel, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mother 3, Mr. Zarn, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Neo Media, Nostalgic, Packrab, VG, Koag, RC, R, Kohog, Raymond C, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Pentless, VG, Cardo Pim, Sledgehammered, Smitty B, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, Tele Prompter, D key down gate, Teat Foes, Trek MD, VVG Double Down, X Ken X. And if you want to support the show, you can. That's right. It's available for free if you have Amazon Prime and link it up. I remember oh. when there was like four names. <laughs> it was so read. easy. It was I like... could do it in one breath. <laughs> Now they're taxing me. Uh, I feel least... like you you have quite a good, good bit of practice doing that too. Yeah, I, I know. Like if they throw a new name in there, a new subscriber, I, I get tripped up a little bit. Or if they're a little bit like somebody goes in between yeah. two names that I know to flow from one to the next, I I automatically do that, but then I back up. Probably heard it a couple times there. Uh, um, no poll question. I couldn't think of one. Uh, but let's get into the news. Oh, uh, some news. Yes, here it is. Uh, first piece of news is uh, 7800 related, but we do news for everything. We don't save it up for the specific shows. Uh, X equals USR 1536 reported very early Wednesday morning. Uh, that uh, their CEM number zero, the Concerto Enhancement Module. What's that uh, uh, for? It is an add-on to the Concerto, which is a multi-cart for the Atari 7800. So you can put in a SD card and play a bunch of games, play oh, homebrew. Oh, nice. I've seen you do that many times. Yeah, and it's things I use on the show for each of the systems because then you can just play homebrew in progress. Oh, it makes so much sense. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And so this is an add-on to enhance what it already does. Um, so this is the first of four planned <laughs> modules, and he what just a got homie. it. My God. Yeah, so he's reporting about it, doing some testing. Uh, it's made by Batari. Uh, the Concerto's firmware update went without a hitch, and it's recognizing the CEM. So it's you plug the original thing into this enhancement module, and then that goes in to your 7800. Um, and this is uh, enhancement module number zero. So yeah. it's kind of a precursor to the other ones, almost like a test. And uh, a little Batari's, session zero, you that's know. That's right. You know, a little so beta meet, test meet up almost. with your friends. You roll some characters. Zero. You're not, you're not playing uh, <laughs> anything yet. You're yeah. just you're figuring it out. It's beta. Yeah, and um, it adds high score uh, HSC. I can't remember what the C stands for. Uh, a high score club uh, compatibility, uh, which is very much like the uh, Atari Vox with its high with its. Um, memory built in to keep high scores mm -hmm. uh, and it was something planned a long time ago that didn't actually come out and it would work the, exactly the same you would plug your game into it like your retail game and then it would plug into the 7800 and it would keep your high score so you just keep plugging in each game um high score cart ah sick thank you so much man 
Um, and uh, then he moved the discussion over to here for his test results. And uh, there we go. He um, pause and select behavior he's testing. Different uh, games, it appears, as well. Return to menu button testing. Yeah, a bunch of different games. These are all classic games he's testing. Um, and most of them are okay. Some of them have a little bit of difficulty, but that is why it's kind of in test mode and it's being sent out to developers first. That makes and, sense. And big um, people who do a lot of tests uh, for Batari stuff. And also, like, just the reality of these things is you have to do that. Like, there's no way around it. It's no. like you can assume you just can't assume that that everything anything's going to work out on the first time oh no 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 yeah, yeah. and you when, and when does it you, simply plug it in and, and it even works. if you test it yourself and even if you have like a multitude of atari 7800s you're not going to get all the bugs all the different variations right. and even then after it's gone out to the beta testers once you do a wide release you're like oh there's somebody with a weird 7800 <laughs> And so it's good to slowly roll it out and have uh, testers out there. So one of the, uh, let's just go through some of the features. There's a bunch of uh, the modules. Amazing. Um, there's the concerto board. There's CEM number zero right there. So that plugs into that, that plugs into your 7800. Um, that has a through hole. This is another CEM zero with SMT. I don't know what that stands for. Uh, CEM number one and a concerto kit and we can read about the cm0 right here um the light version of cm is to improve game support with games that concerto also already supports and gives you full high score uh cart high score cart support provides a small amount of battery backed ram for high score cart use Provides hardware assistance to pr improve game compatibility and playability in Concerto. Frees up more of the Concerto's resources for future developments. Uh, and if you're experiencing graphical glitches with any games or any trouble with Hokey and Pokey Sound, this device will fix all automatically. Do the fix all. Yeah. <laughs> what is a Big Hokey claim. Pokey Sound? Uh, it sounds like a kind of jamboree, but I'm feeling like it's... Very not... <laughs> close. Um... <laughs> The, it's in three, four time. <laughs> the 7800 originally had the same audio chip as the 2600. It was low cost, simple. They just threw it in. They're probably doing his cost savings, but they did also develop an audio chip uh, called the Pokey um, that went into two retail games. So instead of putting it into the system, they're putting it into the games which uh, you could say, well, it's cost saving mm -hmm. because they don't need to use it for games that don't use it. They don't put the cost onto the system. They put the cost onto the games. And that's always like a trade-off. In early days when data is so precious. Oh my God, yeah. And chips were really expensive. It's like, okay, let's roll out the system first for cheap, 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 and then put the cost on the back end with the games. And sometimes they do that with uh modern consoles too it's like okay are we gonna make the console really expensive or are we gonna make the games really expensive or both because if you can get this <laughs> yeah or both they can just go yeah we're just doing both because if they make the system cheap they can get it into a ton of homes and then people will want the games yeah, absolutely or then get the system make it expensive and then get people to buy tons and tons of games for just above cost so it's it's a different way to do it Oh yeah, also Pokey was the sound chip in the Atari 8-bit systems, like the computer systems, and also the 5200. Ah, so cool. Yeah, so and they did actually put the audio chip into those systems rather than holding it back and putting it into the games, yeah. Um, so yeah, so that is, he's the first one to get it. I haven't heard any reports of anybody else getting it. It's going out free to developers. Um, so Batari hasn't actually publicly confirmed that people can ask him for it so this i haven't asked him for it yet. hot off the press too yesterday oh, at 6 30 yeah. a.m uh, yeah well this is his tests are hot off the press that's for sure uh now working on 2k 2600 rom so he's doing testing on that it seems to be working uh Even carl g's responding in the forum yep and there is the concerto cart in the shell as you can see um he's doing a rundown let's see anything else here oh and muddy funster is asking about his game seeing if it improves compatibility with some issues that he was having with 
saying some gla graphical glitches. Not expressing the, the numbers. Yeah. Um, so no response there. So that's the update. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Oh, there we go. Brand new. That's, that looks like yesterday. a seven to me. That looks like a seven. Way more than what we saw. Above. What was it saying before? Z800. I'll take the Z800, man. <laughs> Sounds pretty cool. <laughs> Z800. No, it looks, looks good. So I'll, it is I'll fixing. I'll join Skynet with my Z800. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's fixing a bunch of issues. There we go. Uh, it seems I can mark coppers as pass for Concerto and CM, CME0. Uh, corrupted dotted line and commando. Ooh. Um, yeah, okay, so there we go. I'm just always in awe with how much um, detail work needs to go into testing these things and just so developing much. all this. The, all this. Work. I'm so ignorant to all of it. So it's so it, whenever the the curtains revealed a little bit, I'm in such awe of like just the uh, effort that like the community and people put into this work. Well, they because the community really cares about all this hardware and all their software, and and if you think about even modern games, like when they put out a fix for something. You have to do regressive testing of everything else that it may affect and it usually does affect oh we fixed this oh it broke something else so you think oh now we put out this new module we have to test all the games right. every single game uh the classic games at least and all the hard uh the games modern games homebrew that maybe have had issues or may even break things that didn't have issues so that's right it's a lot of testing um next up we have uh something exclusive that we get to reveal Ooh. um it has to do with something old and something new the oh. old thing is the star path supercharger so let's just boot that up right now got some supercharging Ooh, Atari Box oh, yeah, Plus, dude. Not even. That's right. Not, not the, the normal. It's the plus. Actually, there was a normal one. <laughs> um, so uh, the StarPass supercharger that's plugged into there, right there. It's uh, an older cartridge that doesn't have a game on it. Whoa. And you can see there's a lead coming out. You can press play and rewind a tape. That's you can, <laughs> and it's a real cassette tape that you would use to load games onto Whoa. your Atari. And it came out with a, uh, let's see. Cassette tape, 10, that's like 12 the, games? Is cassette tape like the one you would like, you put into like a car or like a... You can tell how old he is. Uh, cassette. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, it's, it's, got a like, it's, the it's a form of like video, which is magnetized. It's got yeah. a strip. Yeah, it was like VHS tape, except for just audio. So it was yeah. thinner because it only needed the audio portion of it. And it would have two tracks, two, two tracks, stereo on one side and stereo on the other side. Is this what you put into a Walkman? Am I like... Exactly. Fuck, okay, Got guys, it. I'm back. I'm He's back. back. He's on board. Um, <laughs> that was... When I was a kid, that was... That was, that was the original that was music like source. That was like for right? about... Maybe when I was five or six, that was the standard. For, for and, about a minute, right? And disappeared. For you? <laughs> because it was just yes. a young... And then young CDs kid. just destroyed them. Yeah. So you would use... You would load uh, data off the cassette. So it would sound like garbage. Mm -hmm. It would sound... Ee! Um, and you would plug it into the end of the StarPass supercharger and it would listen for this data and load it onto the 6K of RAM that was in there, which was a large amount Big of RAM deal, back dude. then. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you would pay for this module and then you would buy the cassettes and you would put it into your stereo system, hook it up to the headphone jack, and you would play games. And it was really, really cool. There you go. S. Ramirez has all the 12 Supercharger games. Damn. And then later on, um, somebody released a CD with all the Supercharger games and all the original classic games that you could load onto this as well. Because they had to be under 6K because there was bigger games. And they had to be the right games too. And some had to be mo modded as well. But anyway... So, we're taking this old piece of technology and merging it with new oh. internet technology. So, this is kind of going to be hooked up to the internet. Let me show you how. Um, so, now, Al Nefer... Quite the adapter, I see, too. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me talk about the adapter first, actually. So, it has, like, a headphone jack. You know, the, the eight inch. Yeah. But it's very non-standard. I don't know why. It's not quite an eighth inch. Um, so I had to add 
two adapters into it to go to a quarter inch and then back to an eighth inch adapter. So interesting. Um, and then because modern cell phones don't have those anymore, they have USB-C or Apple has their lightning bolt exactly uh, right. or whatever. I can't remember what it's called because I don't have one. And then you have to have an adapter to plug in your headphones or buy an Apple or wireless headphone, something or wireless. Everything's on Bluetooth. So now I have a eighth inch to USB-C. So there's actually three adapters going to that. That's crazy. Um, so uh, Wolfgang slash Al Nefer, who uh, manages the Plus Store and works on the Plus Store, is now marrying the StarPass supercharger with the Plus Store. Holy shit. Uh, so he's implementing the process of implementing support for classic games and homebrew. What are you doing? I hear badness. Get out of there. Um, uh, in the Plus Store using the NextCloud Music Player app. Um, so any device with a browser and an audio jack can use the repos repository with a Plus Store account. And everyone can register a Plus Store account uh, to use the files with his super with their supercharger. No Plus Cart is needed. So um, what originally the Plus Store is meant for is this Plus Cart. And this plus card has a Wi-Fi module in it. And so this connects to the internet and you can play games that download over Wi-Fi off the internet and go right into your cartridge. So what this does is adds one step more and you connect to the plus store on your cell phone and you do audio out into the StarPass Supercharge. Um, so let's take a look first at the interface that he's made for the Plus Store. And so let's load it up on my on the screen so everyone can see it. There we go. So this is what people are used to when they log into the Plus Store. It may look a little different because of your browser or whatever. Uh, nope. Not giving away anything weird there. Good. Um, <laughs> There's always know. a risk. When you're logging into your own accounts and showing them on the screen, it's like, is everything okay on this screen? Am I giving away anything? I think so many streamers, that's where they get in trouble. Oh, All is like, there's like it's a, like, oh, I like, just revealed the location of my house. Oops. Yeah. Or my phone number or something else personal, right? Or I was looking at a Live website that I fails. shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like, oh, wrong tab. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know how someone else was looking up that. That's another thing. If they show their tabs and they haven't closed all their tabs, I'm like, oh, boy. Yeah. Um, so uh, normally you would see like all your folders. You have my ROMs. You have public ROMs where you can play homebrew games uh, and it would load onto your you know, plus card, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so when you've got this hooked up, like you don't need to have a plus card, like you said, you can just make an account in the plus store. And when it's ready, it's not ready yet. You will have a music tab now added to your account. So we click over to the music nice. tab and all of a sudden there's a bunch of games in the music tab. How can games be music? Well, they're not music, they're data in audio form. That makes sense because of the way it's adapted. That's right. So um, what they're doing is using, uh, let's see, uh, t -t 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 uh, the next cloud music player app. So it's a plugin that is part of the next cloud, which is the interface they're using, and it's a music player. So they just adapted the music player to play games, to yeah. play audio games. Uh, compressed audio? No, they're they're full audio, so they will literally play. Um, so actually, I can play one right now so everyone can hear. First, I'm going to turn down the volume because it will destroy your ears, probably. So let me turn it way down. So let's play, play adventure here oh my god that's just us hearing it so there you go it's very quick let me just play it again there we go so it's playing the audio of adventure which is you know that's pretty quick yeah. for a whole game to be loaded um so that's what that's what the plus uh the star pass supercharger is hearing and, and pretty much it's going one zero one zero one zero one zero like that. Um, 
So Alnifer and Prizrak have converted all the binary files from Stella Gets a New Brain. I should have brought the CD out, but mm -hmm. I have it over there. Um, and all the supercharger hacks done by Nuki Shea into audio format. None of the rips and hacks had any useful ID3 tags or cover images, so they had to manually add all of these graphics. Um, so they had to manually do this whole list of all these games and add in all the graphics. Look, there's tons and tons of games. Wow. And I'm scrolling really fast, so there we go. Um, so they had to manually add all the manually the graphics, you know, the date, the developer, the name of the game. Tons um, of UX stuff, tons of like UI. Like. Oh, yeah. And also they had to um, categorize. They've got the PAL and the NTSC as well. Order mag magnitude fast and loading of a floppy up from the C64 without the fast load cartridge or equivalent. Yes, much, much faster. Um, I was actually surprised the first time I loaded an audio, um, a game off of tape. It's actually quite, quite fast. Uh, they're raw wave files. Yes, non-compressed. Um, or whatever audio that the Starpath supercharger uses, which I am assuming is not compressed, because I'm sure that does not have a decompression algorithm built into the Starpath supercharger. Maybe there's some small, slight compression? I don't know enough about it. Uh, I definitely don't know enough about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't, definitely can't help you. He just learned about tapes five minutes ago. <laughs> cassette tapes. No. Uh, to organize an album view of the player in a meaningful way, we had to store the game name in artist ID3 tags and the programmer in album tags. So you can see uh, they actually organize it by uh, albums. Uh, there's folders as well. Uh, there's genres. They've actually organized into genres. It's just well. really nice the 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 like the UI Great for this. Great right? interface. Like, like, like oh, I want to play uh uh well not Frogger, a maze type game. There we go. It says Bank Heist, Crypts of Chaos, Entombed, Escape from the Mind Master, and even uh, more of them. So nine out of sixteen. Uh, all sixteen songs. That's right. I want to hear all sixteen <laughs> songs. It's a great album. The Maze, the Maze Arcade album. <laughs> yeah. uh, Ivory Tower Collection says... Big fan says, of the Frogger album. <laughs> yes. Uh, Ivory Tower Collection says, that would be raw wave recorded, but I believe other ones I've stored in my uh, audio player in MP3 format, it still work. Oh, yes. D technically, they could be stored in MP3 on the server and then played back in wave format. Like, it would... Like, you, would, you wouldn't listen to an MP3. You'd listen to an uncompressed version of the mp3 because it would just sound like that yeah like garbage um so i don't know on the back end how they're storing it um it would obviously have to be lossy um uh lossless because <laughs> if it was lossy uh that means it would be losing data and only be good for our ears and it would not be good for that so yeah. if anything it would be compressed lossless but that's a question I didn't ask Alan the first. All I know about like tapes, because I don't know about like a tapes in regards oh, could to, be MP3, cars so. to audio, but at least for film, like the movement away from like VHS and magnetic tapes is that they deteriorate every time they're recorded and played. Yes. So they're really bad masters because you're Terrible. just inherently decaying it through every sort Unless of interaction it's with it. Digitally onto, but it still can decay. This is the thing is, and that's, yeah. and so that's why I feel, I've no, I think that like, um, at least in the, that's why digital film became oh. far superior because yeah. it was just like, there's no risk of like the, whatever you capture is going to play back the same everywhere. Yeah. As long as you don't have bit rot and you've got backups, etc., and you can verify those backups because I've had bit rot. Um, and, and you can on DV tapes where it's stored on a magnetic tape, that's right, yeah. but digitally stored on a magnetic tape and there's dropouts and things that go wrong over time. Yeah. And, and that a tape is also the other thing with like, at least in film is that I had all these old tapes I filmed on and at a certain point you're like, I don't know how to, what to do with these. <laughs> there's yeah. like, no, like I have to base, I have to go down to the high school and like get a, oh. a DV camera to then log it in and it barely like, you know, worked I've, and it's just that it's, closet is a quarter full of magnetic tape video uh, I have to dump just like you did eventually <laughs> I really yeah. need to do it and I did it recently with Darcy's tapes um, Darcy had a, like uh, 20 tapes DV tapes that he wanted dumped and I still have a camera and the um, the early firewire I believe yeah, the, is the, the, the hook 400 the fire yeah. yeah like these old so, so like I, so I bought like a, a card that I could get into modern systems 
Um, and I dumped all these tapes and it worked perfectly. It's, it's all possible, but like, I think the longer you wait too, like that's the hard thing about older analog technology. Obviously yeah. everyone here is adventing <laughs> and working their butts off to yes. circumnavigate that. But it is interesting, this analog digital world, right? It is. Uh, that's, that's my only knowledge of tapes. <laughs> yeah, you can go to all tracks. There's no internet radio podcasts, but you know, you never know. There might be, there are some podcasts out there. Um, related to atari so they could actually hook up some of the podcasts yeah. uh game by game podcast is one uh there's a number of them out there um okay so continuing on uh so far they've included uh a few newer homebrews amoeba jump pac-man 4k raptor robot city and uh zero page homebrew the game uh so let's uh let's load one of those up sick um, and we're going to load up. Oh, I'm, did I go past it? Amoeba jump. Hey, Just Amoeba. Um, uh, Al has also built in a server script that converts all newly uploaded homebrew for uh, 4K and smaller ROMs automatically. Really nice. Because they keep this, uh, the Plus Store updated with all the ho newest homebrew so that people can play it on their Plus card as well. So it'll be automatically transcoded into wave file ready to be used on your Starpath supercharger um and there are some that uh address certain uh locations in memory that prevent it from being used so those will have to be adapted if they want to use it on this um uh there's still some few minor things to tweak like the folder artist of the auto generated files uh, sharing will most likely be done via public Nextcloud circle, so plus cart users without a supercharger don't have to download 200 megs of audio files to their local collection. It'll be a normal share for every users uh, if I don't get it to work with circles. When the sharing is solved, I'll open up a new Atari H thread with information on how to use the repository, with information and discussion about the new supercharger plus store areas. Also, so, 200 megabytes doesn't seem like egregious. It's not much, but... Um, that everybody has a certain amount of storage on their own store oh, so yeah. it would actually eat up oh i see it's got the like you got at the bottom names. yeah so still that wouldn't yeah it would go over Im would. immediately i was just thinking 50 like megs the... isn't much but for atari games it's a lot yeah but i was just thinking like 200 megs is nothing it's in like the nothing. computer world but oh, it makes God. sense that this is a different it's nothing at all it's a different deal so it's like good luck getting one movie down to 200 megabytes. <laughs> oh God, no! And you you could do it, but it wouldn't look like anything. Yeah, back when the internet was early, uh, uh, and I was compressing video, I was doing it at 320 by 200. Oh yeah. With like mono audio. Potato cam. Dude. Oh, super potato, and it was like tiny little postage stamp of video. But that was like in like 2001. I was like putting video on the internet. Oh boy, people loved it. Oh, it's it was amazing. That's the only is the was, only option. Right? It was about two hundred megs for half an hour, what, which what, is crazy. What's also interesting too is like some of these older like formats. I think like some certain special effects in movies and stuff actually translated better over analog because there was this like, kind of fuzzy, grainy, analogy yes. thing that like you kind of couldn't. It's where HD in some ways hasn't aged certain special effects well yes. because you, you, it just reveals all their flaws versus having this kind of matted like some tv shows old tv shows had to redo all of their special or visual effects and absolutely effects back then um <laughs> because they're so rudimentary and you can completely see everything so we're going to load amoeba jump um so you can see the process in action so rewind tape which you already did okay the tape's <laughs> been rewinded and we're going to press play Loaded onto the thing. Damn. So now it's loaded into the RAM of the StarPass supercharger over the internet through my cell phone through the audio cable. That's so sick. And there we go. This and our amoeba can. It's weird colors on the amoeba. Weird. I must have loaded the PAL version. <laughs> That's okay. We're just testing. Just testing. So there we go. There's the process. So that is coming very soon for those who have the StarPass Supercharger, who want to load games this way. Maybe they don't have a multi-cart. Or you can maybe just this put is it the in, only multi-cart. Or you can just put it in Stella. That's that, 
That'd be a super complicated way of loading the audio through. No, I mean, you, oh, no, I mean, you could just or you just oh, launch yes. the game and stuff. Hundred <laughs> percent. I mean. Yeah, this 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 is essentially kind of a fun thing to do. Oh, it's so great. <laughs> yeah, um, because yeah, everybody has stealth. But the chances of you not having a multi cart and having only the Star Pass Supercharger is very low. But this literally was the first way to load games onto a real console from an end user perspective until the first multi cart came out. And it's amazing it's that we're connecting way. through all these different pieces of technology <laughs> into this like... Yeah, even this, like translating USB into audio and... And it works, through which the is the sickest part. <laughs> That's what you gotta love. Dude, we gotta got Amoeba. It. We got Amoeba on the screen. Some PAL version, I think I actually clicked on. Yeah, I loaded the PAL signal. Do the NTSC version. Just I also like this, like. Yeah, a loading screen. You got a loading screen. There. That's... Oh, yeah, look at those colors. That's ah, better colors. Oh, sorry, you missed it. There we go. But you saw the process. Oh, yeah. Get. Yeah! Whee! Nice. So good, so good. There you go. There is the new hotness revealed for the first time. So cool. Yep. Super, super cool. And speaking of new hotness, the next thing we're going to be doing is a world premiere. Oh, shit. A new game called Meow. Called Meow. Okay. Now there better be some cats in this. We are. There's a promise of cats. Don't okay. load it yet. But is it not beta ready. testing? Is no, it this, this it's one? that one. So you can uh, go into that folder and then go into the meow folder, but don't load it yet. Um, meow folder, can it hit it? Yep. So okay, okay. so this uh, game is by Mir Sad, uh, Sarah Lika, and uh, they're in the chat Yo. Uh, under Kiki PDPH, which is their name in the Atari age. Oh, forums. sick, Kiki. I'm not sure where that name comes from, but it is their name from the Hayao Miyazaki Kiki's Delivery <laughs> Service. Oh, could be. <laughs> I have could no idea. That's Maybe the they only... love cats. Kiki's the only, that's the only place I've heard that name before. That's true. It's Kiki's Delivery System. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that there's... Uh, Did uh, you go to any of the Studio Ghibli movies that are playing? Oh, no, I haven't. Oh, I love they're, those movies. They're playing though. every single Studio Ghibli movie oh, gotta, in Vancouver. I gotta watch them. I love the theater. I love and almost all those films. We've I think two there's, so far. We're going to another one. Which ones did you see? Uh, we're. I'm trying. I'm filling in ones that I haven't seen Smart. before. Um, which one would you, did we just see? Tales from Earthsea. I've never even heard of that one. Yeah, it's it's fine. It's fine. Tanya liked it more than I did. Uh, we're we're seeing ones that I've kind of avoided because mm -hmm. I've heard not super great things about it. But anyway, let's. Yeah. Uh, let's get on with this. Uh, a couple of days ago, uh, Mirsad messaged me about a new game that he had made, and I don't want to give away too much, so we're going to fire up the game, but first, it is an exclusive world premiere. Yes, it Holy is. Holy fuck. That. <laughs> okay, let's give it a go and load it up. Ah, oh, no, he pressed back. That's okay. I'm learning the tricks of the trade. This first one's good? Yep. Oh, hmm. what's going on? Oh, you have to move down. Press it and then go down. There you go. Onto the file. Meow! by MS2023 and uh, should I jump in and see what happens let's jump in and see what happens <gasps> oh my god catch all the things what is happening here who is that at the top and who is that at the bottom catching all the treats <laughs> dude I think I, I recognize Atari um, holy this is the second video game you've been in and, it, and we're discovering that you like hamburgers as well. <laughs> and lollipops oh and cake. Oh my god, so cool, dude. And then ZPH is right there. I am there at the top playing the game that you're seeing on the screen. With moving, cats. Moving the joystick at the top. And my eyes move as well. I, I'm excited for you to play because it's going to get so meta. 
It's gonna be so good. <laughs> me playing, me playing. And then I when tree him. time happens, it's like, what even is this? Oh, my eyes did move. Oh, there it goes. There's my eyes. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And I go, oh, and you miss. Okay, so I, this is going to be a hard score to beat, 590. <laughs> you can try. It's a tough one. You can try, but the bar has been set high. It's super high. So we'll see if even I can obliterate this high score of 590. And people at home, good luck. Cause... Atari eats hamburgers, chicken legs, lollipops, and entire consoles. Oh. That's right. So after, after this game, we're going to go to the instructions and check out what this game is all about. First, we have to obliterate this impossible to beat high score of 590. Oh, yeah. uh, which, now, good luck at home. And also, you can press the button to pause the thing scrolling down the screen. Oh, so. So, if there's a thing that's hard to get, you can. If you can't get to it. You have it, like you a can, number of powers? Yeah, you, it's, a, it's a meter, so the longer you hold it, the more it pauses, but you do run out. And you're out of it. Oh, you got it though. Well, you need it for some instances. And it does build back up. You do need it for some things because they're like way across the screen. Oh, 560. Ooh, oh. I think you have one more life though. You Holy do. shit, dude. Oh my god. 610. Good luck. Beat it? Yeah, I did. Nice. Okay. Beat it by 20 points. So. Joystick move movement is correct. Beating nice the touch. impossible. <laughs> 610. Okay, so let's take a look at the instructions for this game because they're cute as well. He spent a whole four hours working on this game. Is that what he said? Yeah, he spent a whopping four hours. <laughs> wow, that's really hey, good. Hey, Thrust, what up, dude? Welcome, Thrust. Okay. Four hours well spent indeed, well put. Oh, yeah. That's so crazy that you're immortalized and it's it's the oh, hair. You Luckily, you have a, the, you've got a haircut that is, that's like, because a bald person with a beard, it's like, it's going to be fucking anybody. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. But James' hair is, is like, is it's iconic. It's distinctive, yeah. So let me just get this page to I think this is Pixel. This is definitely Pixel. No, sorry. Nope. Uh, no, sprite. this is yeah. Sprite. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Sprite uh, graces the uh, front page of the manual and also the cartridge. Um, so there we go. Meow. Game program for the Atari 2600 video computer system. Uh, ZPH theme. So that uh, promises mm -hmm. maybe other themes will come with other That's cats. Right. Uh, introduction. Welcome to Meow, a game inspired by the popular live stream Zero Page Homebrew. Is it popular? Hmm. That's good to know. What he's saying is popular. So popular with him. Wait, we, wait, we, we didn't say it's popular. No, no, no. no. We're the, not claiming we're, that. We're just reading something that says we're popular. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, have fun controlling a cat as it collects various items. You control a cat moving it left to right. Oh, second game. No, it was just um, Pixel in the first game. No, no, you could control uh, Atari. He was a secondary character. You I believe could so. I believe they were both. Yeah. So uh, Sprite needed to be immortalized. That's right. So he's now in a game as well. Uh, you control a cat. Moving it left to right to collect items. Items fall from the sky. Various types of food and gaming consoles. God, to be alive, it's just oh, you just eating hamburgers. Oh, falling falls. from the sky is so good. As the game progresses, the items gradually accelerate, falling at increasing speed. Your goal is to collect as many items as possible while avoiding any of them falling to the ground. If an item falls to the ground, you will lose one life. The game ends when you lose three lives. Controls. Use the joystick move to move the cat left and right. Use the button on the joystick to pause or freeze the items. Really good. Oh. Uh, freezing items. To make it easier to collect items, you can use the ability to pause or freeze them. Press the button on the joystick to temporarily stop the items from falling. The remaining freezing time is displayed at the bottom of the screen. If you don't use this ability, the freezing time replenishes during gameplay. Yeah, solid. Tips. Use the freezing function strategically to collect items that are out of immediate reach. Oh yeah, definitely. You demonstrated that. Scoring your score will increase by 10 points for each successive <laughs> collected item. Hamburger, slice of cake, chicken leg, lollipop, gaming console. Now, which of these do you think <laughs> dude, the I cats always would actually eat? <laughs> dude, I always love eating gaming consoles. Oh, they're tasty. <laughs> so Super my lunch tasty. is almost. I think the chicken leg is probably hundred percent. That'd be the top it's one. It's probably top. I think hamburger. They would like yep. eat. They would like Part pull. Of it. I could just picture them pulling a patty out and, and running away with it in their, their mouth. Yeah, they probably think... eat some of the bun a bit. 
maybe. I kind of have a feeling that like they Atari like... might just take a lick of like the the icing on a cake, but I don't. Be but done with I it. don't think the whole cake would be These eaten. These cats eat crumbs from toast, so they might eat the some of the of crumb cake. of the cake yeah. and the crumbs of the the top of the hamburger. I don't think the lollipop. No. Cats don't have like any major receptors for sweetness because they don't need sugar. Um, and you could you could probably trick a cat into licking a lollipop for sure. Like if you yeah. like, you could make it happen. But I don't. I think you'd have it's to work. Good. You have to work hard, and I don't know mm. if the cat would kind of lick it and look at you like, what? Are we, what the fuck? Is the Gamma Dev makes a very important uh, observation. Well, they haven't eaten a console yet. Cables are fair game. Atari used to chow down on cables. He just destroyed about twenty or thirty cables oh, in his yeah, lifetime. Man. Luckily, he has stopped doing that. It's good. I remember. I, oh my god! I had a, a pair of headphones that got lost to the Atari. Oh. And we and we couldn't even blame them. It was just. They were tasty looking. Yeah, and they looked like a toy. It was like <laughs> yeah. this Bluetooth, and it was perfect. Wouldn't that be awesome to have um, hard candy in the shape of classic gaming consoles, like like hard candy Atari twenty six hundred and fifty two hundred? That would be awesome. Oh, I bet I bet you it's out there, and if it's not, oh, uh, there's a, there's we're opportunity. looking at you. Opportunity, yes, you, and, and you can make them in the shape. <laughs> uh, you can make them in the shape as long as you don't put the name Atari on it, or maybe even twenty six hundred on it, and you just say like candy consoles. That's right. It's alliteration. It's you can just add a D. Well, no, this isn't the Atari. This is the Atari. Oh, I wonder if I could do that. <laughs> I wonder if you could like um, make some molds, like three D print them. Then make the molds out of those 3D prints, and then like syrup stuff. Syrup. Oh, and, I'm and guaranteed. Press it and just make tons of it, and then just like give them away. I'm certain that there's like cheap, easy ways to do it. Yeah. And then there's probably like really delicious ways to do it. <laughs> yes. You could easily do it with chocolate, right? Just melt chocolate into something, yes. pop it out. We could do chocolate. I bet there's chocolate ones already. That's that's an obvious one. Um, so thanks to James O'Brien, your page homebrew, for granting permission for this project. Did That's, you grant permission? I grant you did, permission. Did the Thane? <laughs> I, I bestow upon you permission. No. To use my likeness. I, I, he showed it to me. I went super awesome. Oh, That's dude, it's so sick. Um, so uh, super cool. And so let's try and beat uh, the record. No, 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 the record is a six ten. That's, That's not true. This. That's true. Nobody Five, else has played this before. Five ninety is <laughs> a hard bargain, and I performed the impossible, which was to beat the impossible, which was five ninety. So we'll, we'll see if you can. Look. It's written. It's on the thing. Six ten. There dude. it is. The world record right in front Good of us. Good luck, man. Especially with people at home. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Nine ten. Okay. You can buy chocolate three D printer. Ooh. Okay. Here we you know, go. You need to just turn six ten. She just changed the That's thing. That's right. 610 nine, is the world record. <laughs> so it's only 10 points each. Yeah, it doesn't so seem... There's no... Which is nice. No acceleration. It doesn't, it doesn't matter um, what you get, which is good because it l removes the that sort of RNG factor, you know? Yeah. Because if, if you got more points for certain things, well then... That would be like... Eh, well, you'd be like, well, then, then you can just kind of randomly play and hope that you get all the good ones. Eventually it would even out. Oh, my God. That was terrible. I'm not going to get it with this game. Oh, I told you it's impossible. <laughs> good, True. Good luck, 610. Oh, no. It turns out it wasn't impossible. It was pretty easy. I can see why 910 is actually the it's real quite legit. It's quite a good 910's a legit score. Yeah. 870. 870 is solid, man. It's a solid score. See if you can break three digits. Would the 5200 candy fit in a mouth? Uh, you'd have to probably chew it in two bites. It would be a big one. <laughs> because that's a huge console. But worth it. Oh, 100% worth it. I've never been a huge, um, like, kind of candy guy. I'm obviously eat. Lots of junk food, but candy luckily has never been what, my like. What's your favorite kind of? Kind of chocolate. Chocolate. Is chocolate your go -to? is my go-to, and then very savory, like kind of licorice? spicy. No, never licorice. Uh, spicy. Yeah, oh. like like Those spicy spicy chips and Doritos, okay. things like that. Um, but but I find it's like it's the it's the salty and oh um, yeah salty savory and chocolatey. But like but like for example like hard candies. Um, things like that has never necessarily been my like 
that but some too. people it's some people it's it's it. It's as good as it gets. It gets really hard. And it doesn't high. reset the speed either. It is kind of like one of those things where it does just kind of scale to a level where like it does have a tied, tied. Tied for first. That means tied. I'm second. That's right. <laughs> a tie for first means you're in second place. And done and done, but, and done live as well. That does count. Live that on, does live on count. Twitch, dude. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it, this is one where it just is kind of like um, it scales to a level where I don't know how. A, you know. a good. Uh, I don't know if I would suggest this, but I I think it would be a good suggestion to reset the speed a little lower after you die, not keep it at the speed that you you died at, um, and that's kind of how you know, where this game is, is an homage to, let's say, Kaboom, where it does reset the speed to a slower speed a little bit when you do die. Yeah, um, also nice... it's to, hard to start up again. Yeah, it gives you almost a bit of a grace period, which yeah. is good. Also, it just, when you get to the rapid, like, level, um, I take it back, there is an RNG aspect, right? Like, you just, like, if you have well, two that yeah. are landing on opposite ends, it's over kind of like... Over and over and over? You're like, this, yeah. it just actually, like, you physically can't do it, versus if they all happen to, like, like generate all pretty close together, you're getting higher points. Yeah, so, they did down the middle of the screen forever, which is completely possible like, but improbable then then you're winning right like here you yeah, see three, three clusters but here like this combo is uh, brutal yeah and when you're when it's too fast yeah you, you just, just can't especially if you run out of energy right oh god damn it yeah oh. like, like here it's just really like this is a really hard run especially when you're when you get into those higher points yeah oh yeah 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 what is it, 150 it increases every 150? Yeah. Speed okay. goes up every 150, yeah. It just kind of scale. It's kind of horde mode in a way, right? <laughs> yeah. Just, just... Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, especially with a joystick, too. Because yeah. this is joystick controlled, not paddle. Yeah, um, what's the, the is the, that the wheel one? The one that's yeah. like... I, I noticed with games like this, it tends to be easier because you can kind of like... You can move faster. But it's hard to program... Um, with the wheel because you don't it doesn't leave much time for the game because it takes up a lot of uh processor that makes sense time because isn't kaboom played on the wheel typically yeah it is yeah. the paddle yeah <laughs> the wheel <laughs> the wheel of <laughs> gaming <laughs> so funny yeah like like that one landing there like you got it but it's kind of like there's only so far you can <gasps> You got one left, one left. Yeah, it's gonna come down fast and furious though. Oh, I wanted 1K, but that's, that's the new record, dude. There we go, there we go. 970. That's right. Woo, world record! It's always a, a cheap move when I say world record on a game that that's nobody's right. played except the developer. Hey, for a beautiful <laughs> moment, I had the world record, you oh. know, for... It's treat time. Hey, buddy. Treat time, ding, 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 ding. His mouth is like half open. He's like, what is, what is, what's <laughs> happening? Treat time. I don't know if erlen has been here for the new improved treat time. No, I, I, I have been here for a treat time, but I don't know if it's new it's and improved. It's not the new improved treat time. Close the door. Yep. Oh, before, oh. Okay, we'll have to wait because the new and improved treat time has a scoreboard. Holy shit. Yep. It is that good. The so tech is popping go. off is what's happening. Okay, don't run out. Don't. Kittens, stop it. Do you guys want, even want treat time? There, I'll open it. <laughs> they do, <laughs> but they think I'm like taking them somewhere. <laughs> there we go, finally. Oh, okay. the cute sounds. Okay, here you go. <sighs> treat time. Okay, cool. You'll dole it out. Watch the bells. Okay, and okay. I'll keep the scoreboard. Sounds the good. cats have gone high tech. Okay. That's all right. You, you can't be. Ready, cats? Oh, oh, nobody's rung it yet. Let's reset okay, it to okay, zero okay. points. Oh, Atari's trying. And Atari's on the board with one point. Sprite is confused. He's looking around. Oh, and he's got it. A no look I'm gonna hit. Try, I'm going to try to give Sprite, give Atari a chance. And throw Sprites over there. Yeah. 
Come on, come on, Atari. Don't. Oh, Sprite gets another point. Good job. Come on, Atari. Ring the bell. No, you didn't throw it. Ring it. No, no. Ring it. Come on. Ring it. Ring it. <laughs> Sprite is three. Three, one for Sprite. Come on, Atari. No, ring it. Come on. Ring it. Sprite is another point. Dude, oh, Atari. Sprite. Atari. I think because he thinks that I'm going to hand it to him. Yep. He's not going to hand it to you. There oh, we go. Buddy, Atari there gets go. a second point. Nice. Sprite is distracted by this. But he goes back to the bell quickly. Sprite is 5 2. Oh, Atari's oh, Atari. in the game now. Atari is now in the game. Oh, Sprite's making, uh, trying to monopolize the bells. Now he's going back to his own. Oh, a double ring. Sprite and Atari get a point. It's now 6 4 for Sprite. Oh, Sprite comes back quickly for a seven points. Come on, Atari. Oh, oh Atari is coming go. up in the rear. Oh, why did, did he bat it over there? He oh, did, yeah. Nice. I didn't mean to I didn't mean to toss uh, it. Oh, eight five. But Atari can catch up if he's really quick. And he throws Sprite off his game. Oh, that did ring. Very, very slightly. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. Yeah, I heard a very slight ring. Sprite is confused. No, he's back, and now it is game point for Sprite. Okay, Sprite. I can't tell if this is real life or the meow game, Dr. Mookow's. Oh, he's coming back for the game. Dude, this is the IRL oh. meow game. Oh, no, nobody's got it yet. Oh, Atari oh, gets Atari, it. Atari, good. Seven. Oh, Sprite's going to bring it. There yeah, we go, and there it's we go. 7 final score. Sprite versus Atari. Atari had some stumbles there in the early game, but, but he, he, he pulled it out in the end, but he, it just he, wasn't quite he, enough. He brought the game. He know? did. Just wasn't. Oh, they expect. Uh, they expect a couple. At the oh, end. I, didn't, I don't know. For for a good game. Good game, guys. G -G. Good game. Good game, guys. So ten, ten seven. Not bad, Atari. You got to get your head in the game early, or else that's what's gonna happen. You're just not gonna get all ten treats. But good game. So you can see the um, the scoreboard oh, there. Oh, this is so sick. ZPH treat tournament. Nice. These are important tournaments to happen. Oh, they, they are. They they happen uh, twice a week. Uh, it's very, very important. Um, super fun meow game. Uh, do you want to give it one more yeah, go? Yeah, let's give it another I think go. You, now that you have a, a better handle on what's going on in the game. 970 is the score to beat. The graphics of me... Are so impressive. So cool. It's it's a huge sprite. And like for massive. four hours of work, dude. What what? And, and it's got the ZPH in there. It's got the rainbow stripes. The proper colors, the rainbow stripes. Very uh very muted colors. I like them. Very subtle. And it's got like a almost a city background there. Where where um Atari's running. Whoa, back and forth on. Um, to help him show up a little bit better, which is nice. And I... There you go. Oh, just enough. Oh, oh, you touched it, but it was just a little too late. Oh, shit. Bested your old score, though. Okay. Oh, out. Not bad, though. Not bad. Very good. Better than nothing. Yeah, good to good to come back and yeah to, to make make some some improvements to the game. You know, that's right. Okay, super fun. Um, it's nice being you know second best in the world. You know? <laughs> that's good. With my seven seventy. Oh, that's true. No, no, no third, 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 third. But it still hasn't been confirmed. Like you know, that's right. Kiki is, you we know. haven't seen any footage of that. I'm just score. saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, we I, need I know, we video need, footage. Need, you know, strange. rises above claims, right? <laughs> That's right. You just type, you can, anyone could type anything into the chat. <laughs> they could say two thousand points. You know, anybody could say that. James <laughs> James is drawn with two sprites, playfield and a missile. Oh, That's so actually, cool! I'd love to take a look at that. Um, so two sprites, because nothing else is up there. Everything else, like the uh, rainbow, is drawn with. I'm guessing playfield. Uh, oh, no, it wouldn't be. It was drawn with background. And then ZPH is uh, drawn with playfield. And, and it's the same color as my shirt to make it easier. Yeah. Um, and then the joystick and hands 
are play are done with a sprite. So oh, cool. There, now with, it can pause it. So there. cool with the joystick movement as well as oh, the so like awesome. the hair and everything. And then the top part is uh yeah, done with um the sprites and I'm guessing anything that has two colors on the same like the eye. The eye is one color and then the hair is another color and then my skin is another color and that's three. So you need both both sprites and um, play field for that. Yeah. Very, very nice. Eye is the missile. Ah, oh, so nice. cool. Erlen's on the podium. That's right. Oh, yeah. It's a great example of how Atari 2600 graphics could be way better looking in a television t thanks to double the resolution and 16 times the colors. Wow. Exactly. Great point. Absolutely. And, and look at the look at the uh graphics for the actual sprites coming down the screen the hamburger is magnificent really and nice i'm quite partial to the chicken leg as well chicken leg's great and the atari console like the 2600 console is amazing it for looks the like size the console. like that's unmistakably the 2600 console it's got the wood grain it's got all the stripes it's got the cartridge slot it's got a representation of all the switches looks more like a four switch but it could be a six switch yeah super awesome um i can't thank you enough mirsad mm -hmm. this is an amazing tribute so to cool. the game and the, the world always needs more cat video that's games that's right the, i'm happy that there was a cat the meow oh paid yeah off yeah oh yeah 100 percent delivered on its promise and i have um sketches of games for the cats as well that i want to make um so that's down the road um but I gotta, I gotta set aside some time to to program this. The show takes up a lot of my time, actually, because yeah. it's not just playing the games on the show. I talk with developers every day, like tons of oh, developers yeah, every day, like arranging um, future shows to debut their games. I'm beta testing tons of games and also balancing all your other life stuff around it too right oh, like it's yeah. not it's not like it's not it's not easy like this this is a large portion of my life actually <laughs> doing this show because i love it and it's and I, I feel that it's important to show off these awesome games I, I also would say too that probably if there were a time where you were less engaged with the community uh, like each of the forums and these things i don't think it would make a better show like you need to be engaged in what's going on yeah. and being being you know being dialed into this world otherwise yeah. it's kind of like you, you know you're lost you can't yeah i can't do the news i don't know what's going on i don't know what new games are coming out um because i keep track of every single atari game across all the platforms that are coming out except for atari st what's what what would you say like out of like preparing for the show like what takes you the most time typically and what seems and what what goes quite quickly what tends tends to like come together quick um well the, let's just list the things i do yeah because then i can break it down um i talk with developers um they either contact me or i contact them depending on if they have something that they haven't revealed yet yeah or i contact them about oh this new game oh can i show it on the show do you have a new version um also then i n learn about new games either through the forums or through social media or youtube and then i add those to the list of games that have come out and i have to do research about when it came out where the binary is people can download where the video is they Absolutely. can watch it um tag their names in it where's the forum post they can follow along with development um then also i play games to to see what they're like make sure they launch too yeah if, if they work <laughs> at all if they're at a if they're at a level that can go on the show or if it's like well it's not i don't think the developer would want me to play it at this yeah. level i mean i'm making assumptions but I want to show their best off on the show. I don't necessarily play the first version of the game on the show. I played at a level where it sh probably shows the intent of the game and people will get a good idea of what it is or what it's going to be. Um, that doesn't take too much time, like playing the games, because I can get I can get an idea pretty quick unless it's a really involved game. And some are quite in-depth, like the RPG-style stuff. Oh, my God, it takes a long time. Oh, yeah um talking with the devs takes a good portion of it probably doing keeping up with the games like just the research that's the biggest thing um i also do prep for the show i i do all the graphics 
for the promotion of the show um like like the cartridge art not for this game because he had cartridge art prepared but the other some, two yeah. games that we're going to be playing I, I made the cartridge art and i had to i have to do the you know the the thing you see before the show starts up and the thing i post in the forums and in the social media i do that and then if there's a big announcement i do a square graphic and post that on social media um i chat in the forum as well if there's something to say or something snarky that i want to say like i posted today i, I feel bad about saying snarky things it's not see good. i this is the the, the terrible the, the the chaotic person in me is immediately dings i'm like what did he say let's get into it but i <laughs> i don't even want to say it on the show i imagine you it's just don't. being snarky but <laughs> after i post it i'm like i don't know i, don't, I should have said that my, I like being my barometer for drama though immediately goes off i'm like oh no because i don't like drama <laughs> you don't at all because it brings negativity it's not good actually and i generally don't like negativity and that's what i try to do on the show is positivity um it's way more sustainable and and, and, and oh, bigger yeah. too like you you notice those youtubers and those streamers who their whole gig is kind of finding something to berate or make fun of and i feel like this is it's, it's inherently sad though because i get so much attention and it's yeah. oh yeah and, and but it's also this like kind of unsustainable model they yeah. just and you can get you the sense too that they're ostracize all... and piss everyone off yeah and i think it's um i don't i could be wrong but i feel like that model is the howard stern model like the old school howard stern where he would go into like a like a small town oh, and he'd yeah. find out like the names of like people and get on the radio show and just like talk shit about like anything <laughs> local and so no. everyone would get so angry but they'd all pay attention to him and and that yeah. would garner like spotlight the idea of that like but that whole model of like you know i need to fill content if i can find <laughs> like something i can rant about for two yeah. hours um the one the thing that takes the most time that doesn't happen very often because it takes the most time is doing the interviews the live interviews with developers because mm -hmm. that takes a ton of research especially the spotlight on developers i have to research their whole catalog of games and know everything about every game get them ready make sure they're going to work on the system have a bunch of questions for for people that's that's the big one i find too with interviewing it all takes is time interviewing so hard too because you want to give somebody like the moment in the sun like you want to represent them the best possible and not yeah. everyone is a good um interview subject um but but you yeah. as an interviewer if you're good you can make anybody a good yes. subject and some people it's easier other people it's harder you want to make them feel comfortable you want to your questions don't necessarily have to be great they have to be great in the aspect of getting them to talk about what they want to talk about um because some people like um if you're being interviewed the thing you want to do is just warp the question into something you want to talk about and almost ignore the question um, because you have a lot to say about the things you want to talk about and and if you're prepared to talk about the things you want to um the interviewer can have the worst questions in the world and it doesn't matter you'll right. still give a great interview but a good interviewer will trigger those great answers or and and also the best questions are the ones they're not um expecting yeah and it's and it's talking about something that they haven't answered a thousand times before and that's like have, when i've been interviewed it's like oh my god that's a great question i never even thought about that aspect of what i do and and it's so much fun when you get interviewed by somebody who doesn't even they don't even need to do much research just enough research and have really insightful questions about the thing you do or, yeah. or the world you live in and, and some people have a lot of knowledge and a lot of really oh. good information to give but they're not very good at necessarily communicating that so how do you yeah. get them to like because you know it's like your brain you've got all this stuff we tons of people would love to hear about how can we just get that on tape which is not yeah. not not as easy as it yeah and and some professions don't translate well to being interviewed some things are not front person like front of the crowd spokesperson for something they're like like in this realm luckily a lot of these people that i, I interview are very well spoken 
Absolutely. Like, like really well spoken. It probably might come with uh, the age range of them and they've just lived life and mm -hmm. they've talked enough. Um, but, you know, nece not necessarily a game developer is like uh, an actor. Actors are used to talking and being used to being in front of cameras, right? They're not they're not scared of cameras, but a game developer, that's not their forte. Their forte is being in front of a computer and, and typing things out. Doing their thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so let's move on to the next game. Uh, oh, oh, stop, stop doing what I don't want you to do. Space Instigators 20th Anniversary Ooh. Edition. Uh, this is also from this year. Uh, this is posted uh, a couple days ago, June 4th. Um, by Christopher Tumber. Uh, Tumber. He also made um, Fade Out, which I don't think was ever fully completed, but it's such an awesome concept for a game. We did play it on the show a long time ago, where one person plays um, a person in white, and another person plays a person in black, and there's multiple levels you can jump around on, and there's these sliding doors that go across the screen that hide you. Some of them are black. Oh, but reveal the other person. Wow. Yeah, so you can hide or you can force somebody into the open and they change colors and um, and you shoot each other and it's super, super awesome, but I don't think it was ever completely oh, finished. Darn. So I, I might bug him about that. <laughs> yes, it's you did such me, a good concept. Let me fire a little email over yeah. there and just... So this is the 20th anniversary edition of the game. So that implies... That there was a game made 20 years ago wow. for the 2600 so let's uh spy versus spy it's it takes off of that uh, a little bit but it also takes off of um archon a little bit which he also started working on a 2600 version of it because on archon you have the light side and the dark side and it also wor almost works like chess but the chess boards changes colors and you get more power when the uh, if you're the dark side when the chess board goes <laughs> dark you get more power if you're the light side and it goes lighter. Interesting. There's also power points that you can land on that give you even more power. Um, and they're like flashing. Such an awesome... Archon is one of the <laughs> coolest games. And instead of chess, where one always defeats the other, like automatically, it's like, well, yeah, you're a pawn, you're going to get defeated. Um, this one, you it opens up to an arena and you fight each other with different It's like abilities. a mini game to in the mini. Yes. There's a mini game that it opens up to a screen and some have projectiles, some have melee weapons and you get more uh, hit points depending on, like I said, the colors. Oh my wow. God. Such an awesome game. Um, so let's take a look at um, the original uh, information for space instigators and it's still being sold this is a game from 2002 and that is another strength of atari age they never run out of games they just keep making the games even 20 years later they're still offered and i love 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 that about atari age because some um let's just move it over and make it bigger some um distributors only have the game for a bit, only, or they only it's make gone. 200 copies, and then it's gone forever. You can still get this game 20 <laughs> years later from Atari age. Uh, Space Instigators is a version of the popular arcade game Space Invaders that is more faithful to the original than Atari 2600 port. This version fits nine invaders in a row without flicker and impressive feet on the Atari 2600. The graphics, colors, and sounds are truer to the original version than Atari's effort. Includes blah, 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 blah. And it was a 4K game. Um, this one, he has increased to 8K because he's going to add in more stuff. Um, I think that's it for that. Um, he also, uh, so it was sold under the Zype name and sold for $25 for the standard edition and $50 for the collector's edition for a limited run of it. And then um, the collector's edition was signed and numbered. And afterwards, it was sold through Atari Age starting January 10th, 2003, but the original one was put out in 2002. Um, so the 20th anniversary is this year of the Atari age version. That makes sense. Wow. And then he put out uh, space instigators in plus in 2012, where he slowed down the saucers. And that's really the only change for that one. Um, so let's load that up. The new one on the 2600. Oh. Ready. Space instigator. Should I should I jump in? Yeah, let's jump right into it. 
I have only played um, Space Invaders maybe like four times in my life, something like that. So oh, I you're just, ready then. I understand it on like a very, very, very rudimentary There's level. Not much to it. Yeah. Shoot the guys. They're shooting at you. There's extra UFO you can shoot for bonus points. And there's some... Um, <laughs> that's, that's what not to do, kids. <laughs> and there's some shields that you can hide behind. But you can't shoot through the shields. And they can't shoot through the shields. <laughs> uh, I think I might need another uh, another round. I think so. I think it's, I might need another, practice round. another go Practice round. Oh, no. Not like this. Not like, oh, shit. Now you're getting the hang of it. Um, so what he posted on June 4th, uh, he says, I know, 20 years, what the F. Uh, update since the original release. Just adjust the volumes here. Uh, he slowed down the UFO. He made the UFO score table from the arcade version. You uh, made the UFO start position based on the shot count. Aliens. Oh, no. Oh. Aliens drop one row lower. Oh, delivery. Uh, title screen with a settings menu. Oh, oh thanks. Not couch complete. Oh, there's no rage for me. Can you go back to the menu? Oh, no, you can't. There's no... I'm going to get that while Erlen kills space guys. That's right. No, there's no rage for me. I don't, I don't need to be good at this game. It's from... It's so crazy playing games on the show because, like, I just don't necessarily have the skill set for them. But James always does. So we'll see how far James can get. No, I'm just saying that, like, oh. <laughs> that, like, I don't necessarily have the skill set for these games. Not that I don't have it, but like, uh, in comparison to say other people, like, it's very the, clear. So it's always a question of like, we'll see how far James can get. <laughs> the basic skill set for this, which is used in a lot of games, vertical shooter games, is timing your shot with the movement of the thing above you, because your shot has a speed, and they have a speed of horizontal movement, and that is a definite um, skill set that you need to build up. Rage Reset! No Rage Reset in this one. Dark Souls 1977. Oh. Kill the left and right aliens to slow down their progress. Oh, one more. He did it! That's pretty damn yeah, good, I'm, actually. I'm popping off, kind man. Kind of the first time you've really played this. Yeah, in a really, really long time. Yeah. I remember the first time I played, I just destroyed my own bar boundaries, like the barriers. <laughs> You're like, oh, I, I was gotta like, kill I these was like, barriers. this isn't what we're supposed to do. <laughs> Something I do understand at a rudimentary level is the value of, like, destroying the bottom ones first. And the left and right, because as they hit the sides, they move down one. So if you kill the left and right... Tactics! It, it oh. slows them down from going down further. I want to do that. I want to do go. that. There you go. Now, now can you I hit more this thing? Oh, 50 points. You can. It's hard oh, I to should do. do. I should do these bottom guys, man. I um, even... Bottom and sides. It kind of, it's kind of a balance. Wow, even some basic tactics helps yep. a lot. That's about the only tactics are in this game. No, I died. Uh, he also implemented a sound setting, so you can turn off the sound. Uh, it has NTSC and PAL built into it, uh, and he added a 20th anniversary logo. Oh, I didn't change the, oh, I died. Change the cartridge graphic. Okay. There we go. Space 1530. Okay, Which, if you want to read out the to-do, I will sure, give it a I'll go. I'll definitely read out the to-do. Okay, so improve shot display, less flicker, may not be possible. That's what he wants to do, so... It, this isn't done yet. Optional multicolor um, instigators. Ah, Non-trivial yeah. need to free ROM uh, space or expand to another bank. Ensure smooth transitions between title screen and game screen. It's a bit of a flicker right now. No yeah. roll. Um, verify UFO scoring is correct, shot counting, and verify stable scan lines during game. Note, demo version requires hard reset after each game. Yep. So, I, so that's clearly going to change after the demo. Yeah, you want to be couch compliant. So you don't have to get up because some people like me who have their system not near them and they have the joysticks extended. So now I've, I've been neglecting this bottom row. Yeah, because also it feels so dangerous, right? Because you can just get it shot. You can't even see their shots. They're so close to, close to you. I think that's all the things. Yeah, you got it. 
So really nice implementation of Space Invaders. Um, classic game too, man. Oh yeah, so classic. This is a this was a system seller when it came out for the twenty six hundred. Not not this game, but the first Space Invaders, which was a lot how, more. Really how was the translation from like um, what is it like uh, the? Because it, be, it was an arc, it was arcade to like twenty six hundred, oh right? Oh my god, it was it was very good for for the capabilities of the programmers at that time, and and the system as well. It was a very very good uh, version of it. It kept it retained all the elements from the arcade. It had things go back and forth. It had rows. It had shots. It had the UFO. Yeah, like like for me, like Mario, Pong, Space Invaders, Zelda. Like these are like those early sort of like IPs and sort of titles that hold so much weight to them. You know. Yeah, you need a like, system seller for it for the game. Um, I mean, Donkey it, Kong, like it's just. Yeah. Like, but Space Invaders to me was always up there with like the kind of those most some of the most iconic. Yeah, um, like titles. It's it's one of the first of its genre, right? There's it's also it's like that genre. graffiti artist who would do sort of Space Invader like oh, yes. characters everywhere. I don't remember what their name was, um, but but you know what I mean. Like it's even yep. it's in the ethos, like oh, the, yeah. the imagery of it's, them, and even even the like eight bit kind of like renderings of these characters are just like so they're everywhere. They're ubiquitous. Everybody understands what they are, right? Or even if they don't know where they're from, they're like, oh yeah, I, I know that somehow. Right? Oh God. You still beat my score. <laughs> Yay. Um, I did 1530 with my, ah, my go. Good, that's really good. So I got, at least I got to the second one. Yep. When it gets to this last guy, like it goes right through them almost. Oh my, that was terrible. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, it's you got it's like almost it is. It's like head. that sniper thing where you gotta like in a, like an FPS. Don't don't shoot. Don't aim for where they are and where yeah. they're going to be. Oh yeah. Like like get your crosshairs and then let them walk into your shot. Yeah, exactly. Even more so on this one. Yes, yeah, so you know what the weirdest thing in the whole world is? Right now, Diablo Four is out on I'm not playing it. <laughs> How dare you? If I were a little, if I like young Erlen would be like, "What are you talking about? Diablo Four is out." And so far, the reviews <laughs> sound really good. It's, but it also is a Blizzard game where, like, you know, one doesn't simply play an hour of a Blizzard game. So you know what is going to happen if you start playing it, right? I'm just going to that... devour so much of my life. And is is that the the thing that's preventing you? Yeah, hundred percent. You know, it's going to be so good that you're just going to just sink weeks and weeks of your life into staring at a screen yeah it'll yeah. trigger my like um my my action rpg love brain <laughs> and and it's good. not it's not a bad thing at all like but i've just kind of like lately just been feeling like i'm like oh i don't know because especially it's it, what i've been hearing is it's more in the mmo lane okay which is like uh, a, yeah. a different world and and the thing is is it's tough like lately i struggle these days playing games yes. that are just kind of like well trust me after after 150 hours, it gets really good. I'm like, I don't know oh, if I can... gets good after I sink in 150 hours? Yeah. yeah. Wait a few patches or risk losing all your progress in a game-breaking bug. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's dangerous, too. Has that happened before? Um, oh, definitely. And also, like, um, some of the things that's really bizarre is the economy of those games, right? Where people oh, will, like, yeah. play, and, and there's sort of early beta items that can be worth, like, so much. Or you can you can spend all your time doing something that ultimately gets patched out. So, and then it's just, you have a bunch of worthless whatevers. You're yeah, like, and oh, luckily God, I don't why? spend real-life money on these things, but there are people that do, and it's need to get this it works great <laughs> with my setup yeah. c table and table i'd actually that i wouldn't mind playing cyberpunk it's apparently supposed because it, it is I finally am super playable tempted to get it on pc because it looks so well good. it's just it, they've had to figure it out like they really released a game When's that the wasn't Steam ready sales happening? Oh, I'm, I'll, I'll get it then just check it out i'm just isn't you, it summertime isn't it like they, coming up soon they tend to have summer and like kind of winter, winter one? so yeah. keep your eye out for it i i definitely play cyberpunk what's nice about yeah. that game too is it's easier to put down like um, right. big big rpgs that kind of like require like tons of grinding um but also the other thing that they've uh they've done which i'm not a huge fan of is is level level the world with you and it's a pet peeve of mine i don't love rpgs that have that approach uh, yeah it, i think we discussed this before it's a much more naturalistic feeling when there's like areas that you just get stomped in yeah like you're not supposed to be there 
Like, go to the town it's first. A, they call that aspirational go kill, content. Go kill some rats. And what's weird <laughs> is then, if the game, like, scales with you, then... It, you then, don't have to play it. Okay, cool. Then you're not actually rewarded for leveling up. In no, some ways... I feel defeated when I... Oh, the rats are now still hard? Yeah, like, or in some cases, why? like, how to... be able to ignore the rats and just walk past them, and they're like... They're, like, biting at your toes, and you're like, kick. Yeah. <laughs> well, and then also, there should be these, like, you know, level one challenge rating, yes. like, monsters, and then they're, like, and then you kind of feed out. That's one thing they have complained about. Do you I think it's a little lazy on the developers to just scale the world with you, rather than, oh, we have to put in time and make this area the first area. You could go in this area if you're really skilled, but you're not really supposed to before you do this, and it builds out. Yeah, I yeah. think it's also just trying to balance the more like um, uh, the the more the the more casual consumer who sort of just wants to sort of log in and play. Yeah. Um, and I and I, there's nothing wrong with that, um, because that's also the way of the world, right? But it is it's it's also like um, I gotta look at this. It's easier to, um, but it, it's interesting. I I I think there's to me an existential kind of nightmare that yeah. you enter into when you're like so like the world just changes with me like there's no like there's no progression it's oh, like oh yeah do you know what i mean i'm like true. oh i found this item but like does it matter because like uh, you know it's everything will just level up with me yeah yeah exactly it's like well i could have this terrible sword and it's just gonna be better later so yeah I'm why like, why would i buy this or What's well, like I'm level twenty and like everything's level twenty. I'm level twenty one. Everything's level twenty one. It's like, <laughs> yes. well, why am I playing this? Yeah, why don't I just stay at level one and never increase? And what's interesting about those games is there is a power misbalance, right? Where you like you'll reach a point where your peak power and more levels won't necessarily make you better, but the world will get harder. So teleprompter said, "Get this." Well, it wouldn't work with my setup here. Out of so, what exactly is it? Uh, it's a side table you could put your console on. Oh, nice. So you could do all the switches and stuff. But if I didn't have this kind of setup, that would be good. But all these are kind of permanently wired in to upscaling things. And, and it's got to it's gotta go to the TV and then also... So instead of one wire going to us for joystick, there would be five wires going to all my equipment going across the floor. With these characters. Yeah, with these characters chewing on them. Naughty, naughty, naughty. So it really wouldn't work with me, but I can see it working for, like, uh, some other people that just pay it, play it casually and not hooked up to a crazy encoding system and all that. Aww. But thank you for the suggestion. You've got Sweetness. treats. You can calm down. Um, so the next game we're going to be playing, uh, next and last game we're going to be playing, Ooh. Um, is very complicated, so we're going to have to figure it out on the fly. Kay. I tried, but maybe you can help me get some insight. Hi, want to come up here? Into it. It's called Role Play. Oh, that was short lived. Um, and it's by. Oh, let me get my notes back up again. I got a feeling this is going to be a bit of a puzzle. Uh, it's it's got some complications. Let's it's got see. some rules, some, some depth to it. It's by Glenn Main, a 4K game. And a lot of his games are like this, where it's, it's not readily apparent. It's not a pick up and play. You have to, you have to go through the rules. It's got some it's got some depth to it, which is which is nice because once you learn that, you're like, oh, this is kind of cool. This does this and this does this. Um, so but before that, we got a delivery. And this Ooh. is kind of cool. I was I was hoping this would come before the show, but it came during the show. That's good enough. Um, so we're watching I watch security based things on TV. It's like, oh, you know scams and security and make sure you're safe on the internet and off the internet all that so stuff. you don't get ripped off or taken advantage of so i try and keep on top of that and i saw the other day um a video about fobs key, uh, car fobs and you know those uh keys that are wireless and you keep them in your pocket yeah and all you have to do is go up to your car door and open it because it knows you're near it. You've got the key near it. It's a wireless communication. Um, so you never need to open it with a key. You don't need to even press a button. You're just near it. What a weird world we live in now, <laughs> yes. right? It's like, it's like, oh, this resistance that you have of having to open your door. Yeah. <laughs> like, let's let's try oh, to remove all friction possible in life. That's way too complicated. <laughs> it's like, oh. all the time you're wasting. Pressing a button? No, no, no. That's whoa, old school. Whoa. we got to walk towards it, and it magically... <laughs> So they had this 
um, video, and it showed that thieves are stealing cars. But the way they're stealing it is they're going to people's houses with cars parked in front of them. They're going, and they know which cars. They go up to your door where your keys are inside, hanging on a hook. They then are able to trigger your keys, steal the code, and reuse it and steal your car because it's wireless. So what I had to get, because mine has this, is a Faraday box. What's a Faraday box? It prevents all communications inside and out of it gone. It's kind of a mesh of wires that interfere with the communication, uh, the wireless also, communication. Sick name, of Faraday. It's this, super this sounds cool. like the third act, like item of a fucking movie. Ooh. You have to find the Faraday box. So it really, the wiring, the mesh wiring, interferes with the with the communications, and you can see it's a, a fine, fine mesh. And it this would only block certain frequencies, I'm guessing, and it is tuned to a certain band of frequencies, but it is supposed to block the fob and you put them in this box by your door instead of hanging them on sorry nice. <laughs> hanging them on uh, a keychain or a key hook and um, I watched some videos and what they did is put their key fob in it closed it went right up to the car door right beside it tried to open the door wouldn't open wouldn't work. Damn. so you know that's perfect uh, so if it's right next to it it's definitely not going to work that far away from it uh, these keys are dangerous because of the lousy implementation of the manufacturers. Repeaters, you should try it, see if it works. Uh, Tanya has the car, but I will will be trying to make sure that it works. Welcome to the future. Every convenience requires an accessory to prevent its unintended consequences. Nice box, though, yeah. So true. And it's like everything now. Everything's on the internet. Your fridge is on the internet. Your microwave. I've seen clothes dryers on the internet. That makes absolutely... Like a microwave on the internet? You literally have to physically go up to the microwave and take your food out and put it in. Those are the only two times you press buttons on it. It's so weird. You have to there's, be there. There's kind of like this like thing that technology does. It's sort of like this like becomes this like mother. It's like if if, if, let's, if you could just lay in bed and like have the internet serve you everything, you never have to leave. Like that seems to be like I mean, where technology like aims us towards. It's like the Wally. It's, it's like universe. to re to remove friction in your life. But what's interesting yep. is those frictions are not necessarily bad or good. They just they're a part of. It's inherently part of life. That that is what tech is. It's not bad. It's not good. It's how you use it. It's both bad and good. Yeah. Sorry, not. It's not not bad and good it is both bad and good it's 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 everything i'll use it like, and i'll tell these you these are convenient but they're also ripe for theft now and tell you this james i am in no rush to like not use like washers and dryers you know what i mean like i'm gonna, yeah. like i'm like this is the best i'm not i don't want to like go to the river and like <laughs> grind like, it I'm, with rocks you know i'm so like there's nothing wrong with tech but it but is you it, don't need it on your wi-fi yeah i'm like, like do it's, not it's need gonna it. be like when where do we draw the line is the question like you know? they have beepers to tell you when it's done if you're out of earshot of that dryer you're not going to be changing your clothes out anyway you're not gonna, getting them out so it's going to be okay if they just stay in the dryer for like they're dry it's even fine. if even if they, even in the washer like it's the it's world fine. isn't gonna for an hour even they're not going to rot and after an hour okay, anyway that's enough <laughs> okay so uh time to play some games time to play the last game which is role play and on the forums, he says, role play. What was I thinking getting... This is in the game mindset. What was I thinking getting involved? As useless a rolling press as I've ever seen. Infested, too, with weird little creatures that are no funny issue. Oh, I've Took it there. as far as I could. Yeah, you've been there. <laughs> getting out of the game, I am here. Maybe you can, guys can do something with it. And he says, test it in Stella and Javatari and Gopher. We're about to test it on some real hard. Oh, dude. Watch out. This shit's about to pop off over here. Uh, background. An old electrical mechanical rolling press requires freeing of creatures that have become trapped into its flat sheet. They're shorting machine power and causing anomalous coloring. Bugs, in other words. Roll to reveal each creature's stake per band, also indicated through colored light bars. Then choose a creature to play for. Computer's on the left, you're on the right. Actually, you're the roller. But that's not important right now. Look, by timing a slide correctly, 
power may be partially restored back into the machinery for another try. Successfully riddling three unique creatures wins you a trophy. These are color striped at the top. Winning three trophies grants bonus power and moves you along to the next colored striped trophy series to collect. Progress through all stripes, 14 unique colors to win the game. A special presentation awaits. Ooh, we I gotta doubt. get that. I want that special presentation. <clears throat> it says, note, power is indicated by a battery symbol with numbers that top out at 99%. It drains continuously. When fully depleted, the game is over. Rough. <clears throat> Although it seems like it, you're not trying to match colors. Those are indicating stakes. Uh, game type, reflex, smudge of strategy. Instructions, minimal. Use joystick up or down to select a band. Joystick trigger to send the roller. Next, choose a creature using the joystick to the right. Joystick trigger halts zooming wedge. Attempt at rectangle. Not sure what that means. It's really simple. You just <clears throat> move it around, touch the thing, yeah. bring in the wedge. There are pages of instructions. Pages. Minimal of instructions. Uh, <laughs> no, instructions. That, that was the minimal. This is the maximum. Minimal. One. So let's see what this is all about. Role play. So let's go switch out the cartridge graphic and go for it. Gamma Dev. It's not that the key fob is smart, it's that the RFED tech that they're using still hasn't changed since the 90s and most car makers haven't thought to hire a security expert. Even their computers are unchanged since the early aughts. That's why they have a hard time recovering from COVID. All the legacy manufacturers that shut down switched to making modern chip that, and refused to go back. They, yeah. Um, car manufacturers are very slow to adopt new tech because they're used to using engines for like decades. So they think, I think they think that same way with tech. So there's the title screen. That's interesting when it says role play, I, I, I assumed R O L E play, oh, but no, R O L L play. play. This is a different kind of role playing. So, learning from Darcy and learning from board games, it's always good to know what the. Rating with a party of two! Thank you so Yo, much. What up? For Julian Ozuka. Welcome. We're about to play uh, a very complicated, very... bizarre game. Yeah, it's rolling, trying to rescue bugs off of a rolling press. I mean, who hasn't tried to rescue bugs? I mean, a rolling it's everyday press. occurrence, at least once a week. Oh, right? yeah. So oh, we should yeah. be okay at this game. And those are uh, some of the bugs, I believe, on the title screen with the crazy music. Um, so let's press the button. We can check out our environment. So there's the rolling thing, which has a cool kind of 3D animation. So there's our battery at the top. Let's let's learn about what we're seeing first. Our battery is depleting. And it's at 19. And then we've got a bar that goes along the top. And there's a 0, a plus 3, a plus 4, plus 5. Um, there are rows. Let me just read about what everything is on the screen. That's on the second page of the instructions. So the battery is now flashing. That means it's at a low level. The power goes from zero to 99%, so 100 units. The next thing down is a slide and a hit zone. So I think you're trying to hit it when it goes to that hit zone. So if you press the button, oh no, okay. At one point it had a little slider and it had a little red part or a little blue part and that's when you're trying to hit it. Um, there are four bands going down, it says. The whole thing's the rolling sheet. Oh, the th left thing on the left. No, the rolling sheet's on. The roller is the bottom, little handle for rolling. Um, the target creature's at the bottom. Right now it says D0, but... It will have a target creature at some point. Cool, and I'm I'm I, I still don't feel like I'm like fundamentally understanding like what I'm even supposed to do. Okay, you press. Oh, there's a little. Th when that comes up, press it in the blue. And I think you do well when it presses, when it goes in the blue. Oh, like that, like that little arrow at the top. Yes. 
Ooh, but I don't not quite. But I don't really know what that did. Yeah, I'm not sure. And now I'm dead. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I don't even know like where the score is necessarily. So I know it by so you move up and down. Okay. And you can see your kind of cursor as you move up and down. There's like dice things and then you have a cursor. No, not quite in the blue. To wait a touch longer. But like Oh I think you got it? Not I mean sure. I did something, but like I also don't know like which one necessarily corresponds with like Yeah. So there's a bunch of creatures there. So I told you, it's, it's super crazy. And see, I lost. Yep. Okay. Roll. Status display. Roll. This oh, old. So there's a, the status status display. It says done right now. Okay. And roll. That's another one. Roll dice. Joystick trigger sends the roller to discover computer's creature light bar for this band. You may continuously roll to randomize the result. A roll usually has a power cost as defined by the base staking amount. Image three. Base staking amount as seen on the right. Okay, there's that three and a zero. The base staking amount is the one. Now, how do you increase that? That one. Press left and right. Plus two. So like, at least I'm kind of hitting this blue thing, which I think my numbers are going up because of that. So like, I'm not sure if this okay. is... Okay. Like, I'm now at 32, so that's Oh, like, you're getting stuff. Okay. You're doing... There's a lot of Oh, old... you're getting things. Okay. Ooh, I think the computer just rolled there. Thank you for following, Commando. Glad you're enjoying what you see. So you're getting some. Another status display at the bottom says play. Play a creature. Use the joystick right to select, then the joystick left to select a light bar. That's all I've been doing. The, is... the intended stake. You can stick. That one's done. Roll. Am I allowed to be this guy? Let's see what happens. Okay, I just lost a bunch of battery. And done a completed band. So that band is done. Roll, play. I'm getting good at whatever you do. <laughs> Roller, rolling. Joystick trigger when in roll or play mode is shown as a status. Power cost, the base staking amount as defined by the current selected band. So if you have plus three, it's going to cost you three or gain you three to roll. Okay. Base staking. Each base has a each band has a pa base power requir amount required to use the roller from the lowest to highest. Zero, one, two, three. You see this amount underlined on the display. Yeah, it's underlined. Okay. And at a four. And you gained four from doing it. Did you press anything to do it twice, or it automatically did it? it? Automatically did it. But okay. what's weird is like I had, I felt like I had everything, and then now it's making me do it all over again. Mmm. See that one went well. Yeah, they're underlined. See, we're at like thirty-two now. Yeah. Thirty-four. Uh, computer staking, which is on. See, then the it left. just immediately rolled it again. I think that's computer taking its turn. Uh, computer staking. Each creature the computer holds takes a stake. You'll see this amount on the left-hand side. So yours is on the right. You have a stake of three, and it had zero. And it has three, and it ha you have one. The moment it just... Uh, it's currently just feels like one of those like JRPGs where you have to just like hit a <laughs> it dial. It does feel a little bit like that. Do you know what I mean? Like Because there are creatures, right? You know those games where you just like... They're like... You have like a, a point you need to hit. And if you hit it, you then like do a good attack. Mm, yep. Which is like this dial at the top. I That's all I'm paying attention to. Um, which means I'm losing. <laughs> I don't know what is going on. But see, I just got more battery power from my like little mini game success. See more <laughs> battery power? Yep. And then, ooh, ooh, more battery power because I nailed that little blue thing. I think you did something. They're all matching now. Yeah. I don't know. Um, 
Like, like currently, it just just feels like a game where I'm just basically like randomly trying to hit this blue thing with the blue, so the numbers go up. And then now I see it's like. And now it's palm. Win. <laughs> Complete three unique creatures across any number of bands or levels. That's. Trophy is a color stripe. Get three to complete a color series. I don't understand. See, I'm... Uh, at, at so the, those are in purple. At the very least, right, if I'm hitting that blue thing, I'm, like, getting, like, more battery, which feels like... It's winning. Like, yeah, like, like I'm, like, like, 42, but I'm also, like, I'm, I'm just kind of randomly hitting these things, right? But see, look at that. Nailed that. <laughs> now you're getting up there in battery. Like, I don't know if the point is to fill my battery to 99. That would feel like a cool thing to try and do. You're trying to get every trophy. But how do you get a trophy? How do I get one trophy? Oh, I'm losing battery, see? You gotta nail that friggin' JRPG. <laughs> Mini game. See the creature at the... Oh, D0. See, see so creature it says at the bottom? Yeah. That's what you're trying to... So, you're playing But it says it's creature. done. Yeah, so then, you don't want to do that one. Then this one's like play, play. I can play any of these that I want, or I can just roll. And I'm losing battery power if I'm like thinking. Yeah. So did you get that one? Yeah, so now that one's done. Okay. And then this guy I can roll, or I can play like this. Let's try this. Okay. So you're trying for that creature, and you got that creature? And then now it just re rolled. And now the, me... the board clears. So now it's like I get to do it again. So, well, I missed it. Roll? I missed yeah. it. So that like totally destroyed me. Oh. Gotta get my battery back. So this guy's done. Anybody have more insight? What is going on? This guy's done. Light bars, indicative green, yellow, or red animated glyphs. And now it re-rolled the whole thing again. So right, whatever whatever progress was made is lost. All this happening is I'm just losing my battery and. <laughs> See, this guy says it's done, done, roll, right. play. Oh, People so haven't... Having trouble outside. Done. So, you complete all of them when you roll for all of them. Okay, so I just rolled, but like I just lost battery. So playing is like... Ooh, okay. Good hit. No, I don't understand. Like, you are picking the creature each time, right? That's right. So, and I can pick any creature. Right, and some have give you more than others. But if you miss, it's a much more... You lose more battery. Yeah. Oh, it's going the other way. Oh. Let's rust his scratching hand. Ooh. Yeah. Oh boy. Like, literally, there's five pages of instructions. Well, so at the very least, I'm not losing battery, and I'm, like, rolling things. So, like, regardless, I'm able to keep playing the game. Yes. Which is So as nice. long as you don't go to zero, zero is win losing. As long as you don't go to zero, you're fine. I don't know when the computer gets his turn... And when the computer gets their turn, um, they can take power away from you. You're above 50 now. Or, like, actually, like, even just, like, on a very basic oh. level, like, what my job is. <laughs> like, like what, am I, like, what am I even doing on, like, a very preliminary, like, what's the goal? Creatures. Uh, I, I feel like I'm just infinitely rolling. Yeah. The word do is shown, which you can see at the bottom there. Uh, whenever a decision fork exists for either rolling the dice or playing a creature. If the computer's light bars have been revealed, do will be replaced with the tar current targeted creature instead. I don't I don't get it. Um, see, 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 this is interesting. It's like done, 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 roll. So I have one last one to do. And then I hit it, right? And then now it just re-rolls everything. Yeah. Um, and I have n gone no further. And... My battery has either been depleted on how well I've done on my JRPG minigame. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's like, look, I think Glenn I Main is going to have to 
play a game and record the video of him playing it and and like explain it while he's playing oh like and just it, missed it yeah and it's like you have to nail this thing oh my god like there's so much oh i'm gonna die soon yeah you're losing it you got it back. Slowly pull it back. But yeah, it's getting to the point where if I make a mistake, I'm losing like 10. Okay, so let me back. try. Cool. Here, you read the instructions. Five pages and see if... Uh... Okay, okay, okay. Trophy! I got a trophy. What dictates you getting a trophy, though? Okay, so it suggests that the thing underneath is your target creature. Right. But so, what's odd is I, like, play right, and I don't... It never changes. So I've never, like... It's never necessarily helped me. There's the roller. There's the status per band. There's the plate. Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm just kind of reading this like to myself, just because I think oh, yeah, reading yeah. it out loud is not gonna be. It's crazy. It's not. It's not Twitch Dynamite. That's <laughs> what it is. So this is my favorite instruction. The combined stake you're playing for this band and B player's value as underlined is a sum of the base and chosen creature and light bar here, just a dog. <laughs> that, that's, a... that's a sentence? <laughs> wow, that's that's hard to parse. I, I'm, I'm, I'm also intentionally being cheeky. I know yeah. that if I were to like hit all the things, I guarantee you that but, that, but that's quite the, I just thought it was funny. It ends with here, just a dog. And I'm like, I don't, just a dog. I don't know what the dog is. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> or one of these a dog? Did I miss that? Oh, yeah. You gotta keep winning your JRPG mini game, or you're like, fucked. Do you see what I mean? Like that's yeah. at least that's kind of like that seems for sure like something that needs to that, happen. Yeah, and like I get like, that part. We cannot if we're missing that, we're done. Oh, I missed it. And oh, see, I'm it's, almost dead. And see, that's the hard thing is because we've been playing for a while, it almost feels like um, you can. It's so hard to build the battery, and you can tank it so quickly now. Oh God, yeah. Oh no. Oh, yeah. The game is won when every trophy has been collected. But I don't know which trophy if we've collected. I got one. Did we get one? Where yeah. is it? Uh, it doesn't show on the screen because at all times. I mean, it could at the bottom somewhere. It'd just be nice. It's because that at least gives me some sense of like progression. Like I don't. Oh, I'm dead. Where's the developer when you need him? Yeah. yeah. Please. Oh, I ended up with one trophy. Wow, and so this is just a, like... Okay, cool, so there's all these codes, right? It's, like, it's targeted. A creature is targeted by first rolling. The word do is shown when a decision fork exists. See, do's on the screen at almost all points in time. So, so like, the thing is, is a decision fork... I can't say I know what that means. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of terminology that is referenced somewhere else, but you can't find it where it is. Oh, so it's like whenever you've successfully played a creature, your progress will flash here. All three means a trophy coming your way. I don't know where here is, though. Yeah. Um, Spooky, the bubblegum ghost. What's that? Bugs. Where's the bubblegum ghost? rabbit, dog, top dog. Oh, that's why he was saying, see a dog here. That's uh, what he meant, because there's actually a oh, dog. You'd see a dog in a specific spot, but I'm not sure what the dog looks like. Is that a dog? It looks like... <laughs> is that a, a, Maybe the bubblegum ghost? I'm not sure. It does need a table. Like a table of what everything looks like. Yeah, well, it seems like they sort of do, but the problem is, is it's like... They just have like a list of bullet points of what different things are. Yeah, without the pictures. Oh, did I miss that? Damn it. I mean, visually, it's great. It's got so much going on. Um, the creatures look cool, but uh, it's just really hard to parse the, the, the instructions because it's so involved. 
Not that I'm an expert at writing instruction. Oh, manuals, no, and but... I think it's one of those things, too, where you're right if someone were to, like, play it or break it down. And it's not a re necessarily a reflection on the game. Yeah. But it is also a good lesson of, like, um, uh, at least with game design, like, if the inherent, like, core, like, gameplay is not, like, um, decipherable uh, with even with instructions, it's a sign of, of, of challenge, right? Yeah. It's, and and it just it I think it becomes a bit more of a niche game then and there's nothing wrong with a niche game at all. You yep. know what I mean? Like challenging puzzles and things like that. There's always an audience for it. But I think it definitely does limit your game if um it's not like you can't pick it up and, and figure it out by playing. And even with instructions you can't figure it out is another layer. Yeah. Cause I I thought I'd be able to figure out the game like on the fly as we play mm -hmm. it, we got we would understand it more and more. <laughs> not Easy to play, hard to master. No, this is hard to play. Uh, hard maybe to play. Easy to master. I would say probably. I think the mini game we're not doing bad at. Like I think, yeah. Once you understand maybe the like the core like mechanics of what what it is, but I also don't understand like um where I am in my progression, and I don't understand where I'm aiming to, and yeah. I don't understand like where I've come, and like another thing. To How to get the trophies? Like for example, if we reset this game and started. I'd have no idea if we're like at the same place or farther like i don't know how long we've been playing this game but i literally have no concept of if we've done anything yet it, yeah well, like the it's... trophies yeah that, i know that you have to earn trophies for sure but where are they i don't know and how I... many are there and how many have we got <laughs> i we got one last time i think so and well, we haven't died yet no and i'm trying to get to 99 at least Okay, I'm gonna keep reading this because it might just be me being a bad reader. I don't wanna. Could be. I I gave it my best. Did I get that? Yes, 87. You can get up pretty high. Six. No, six is high as there. It's devastating when you miss and you're at a high one. Hmm. Okay, so. Roll to reveal each creature's stake per band, then choose a creature to play for. By timing a slide correctly, power may be partially restored back. Successfully riding three unique creatures wins you a trophy. So I'm thinking I'm thinking then that like for here, for example, these are all done, so we kinda need to just keep rolling. Um, right, but so when three we have unique, so I've got two unique. So yeah. I have to go for go so go for something that isn't the I one can't. that you've already done, right? I can't because there's only two. So I've only got the rock and the guy with the ears. So I have to like just oh, I died. Okay, so let me try and go for three unique because that's the trophy. Okay. Yeah. So, so there's rock. There's only two I can choose from though. Unfortunately. Okay, so we got this this guy, and, and then, then we've the got the rock. So I'll try for the rock. Oh, I missed. Uh, I see. Uh, and then, and then this guy with the little. You got, see what I mean? I got the rock, but now how do I get a third? This because you see that there isn't. There's there's three different ones because the first one. Yeah. See the first one doesn't have a hole in it. Um, so there are three. See the first one doesn't oh. have a hole in it. Then the next one is this like upside down one. There we go. Okay. And then the final one is. They are slightly. So different. so we have our ghost. Yep. Bubblegum ghost, possibly. And then we've got our, like, space invader. Okay, I got that one. And then we've got our rock, which is our... Not not the ghost, which we that already have, one. but this one here. So it feels to me that you just kind of want to keep... Okay, I got all So three. in theory, we should have a... Um, trophy. A trophy now. It made a nice noise, but it didn't but show trophy. Th that's something this game's really... The label shows nine trophies, right? I don't know which label, though. And it's a little green flashing thing on the bottom in the third spot. I'll just keep getting all three unique. Yeah, ones. so I guess as soon as you have one, never roll that one again. Yes. So now you just keep rolling this rock, right? Yeah. Yeah, this kind of rocky one. And I guess it gives you enough room to mess up once because then you can try again. Even though I've got. Like all right three. now, it looks like you've got them, right? Yeah. So then. I've got a. But I just did nothing. Think, but I don't know like where we are. Like yeah, nothing indicated that I did good by so, getting all three. Winning three trophies grants bonus powers and moves you along to the next color striped trophy series to collect. So there's a series oh, of trophies and different colors. Pro progress through all stripes, fourteen unique colors. 
to win the game, a special presentation oh. award. So, but I don't know where the stripes are. I I'm guessing oh that changed color up there, the top cool. one. So that must mean that like we've progressed. We've progressed, yeah. Yes, <laughs> would this be the first game of the show where we have no clue? <laughs> yes, uh, there. I think there was another one where I'm like, I don't know what's happening. This one is uh, so like we're 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 completing our JRPG game. Yeah, I'm kicking mini ass game at that. really well. Um, now I've got two. Look, two colors. Okay. Okay, we're progressing. We're we're, we're getting there. We're getting somewhere. So really. We're just basically all we're doing is just trying to get three different things and, over and over. Yeah. Um, and that is that is progressing us. I'm staying at 99, which is awesome. <laughs> that should change color. There we go. Oh, now we've got three colors. Cool. So it's sort of flashing. Like... That's good. So now we just need to do one more and we maybe get a trophy. What? And there's 14 unique colors okay I don't know how that adds up yet but we'll find out Get the guy with the mouth now which actually seems not too hard to do now that we're actually doing it like yeah. I, you know what I mean like it's kind of there we go all four I've got okay and the colors sort of moved up it seems yeah so, so just keep doing it I mean oops I missed. I'm in trouble because I did a double one. Oh, so what we're calling the hole in the rock, I think, is supposedly a dog. I think. So, yeah, oh, yeah. the one with the ears? Uh, not this one. Not not this one. It okay. seems to be like the other one that's like the one with like, the big mouth. Yeah, the not um not this one, but the next one. Yeah. He he he's indicating. It's apparently a dog. That's the dog right here. Yeah. Oh, I see. With the ear down the side, maybe. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of a dog vibe. Yeah. Um, and so we have Ghost, Space Invader, and Dog. That's kind of what I feel like. But I don't think those are their actual names. I still haven't got a trophy on the screen. And I also wouldn't be surprised if we have a trophy and it just isn't indicated. Could be, yeah. I'm, maybe I'm wrong, but... I missed. No, I got it. Nothing... Like, the colors are changing, but... You know how, like, when you hit a button and there's, like, a dopamine hit? <laughs> of, like, yeah. you're like, oh, shit, I got... Yeah, like, this game doesn't Oops. have that. You know what I mean? I'm like, <laughs> I, like, do something. I'm like, did I... Yeah, what... Did something happen? Did something change? It's probably because there's no score in this game. There's no score. There's there's no kind of... Oh, I missed. There's no necessarily, like, clear progression. I mean, there is a progression. Yeah. Um, clear is the key word. There's like a health bar, which is the top, the battery. Which, which is really how well you good. do with this mini game. But that's not even an issue now that I've figured out. And what's now that going we're on. like with a bit of practice. I'm at 99 pinned pretty much most of the time now. Yeah, because you kind of inevitably, if you play enough, will get good at that little detail. It's getting different colors and brown. It and seems it's to be sort of moving and... up like. Maybe there's an option I'm missing, but I can't. That's all there is to do. You know do. how, like, the first game we played, right, kind of scales with you, you know what I mean? Like, the, the, the meow, like, yes. you're kind of playing, and it, like, it gets harder and harder. So another thing that's interesting about this game is it doesn't seem to actually be getting harder. No. Like, the, like there isn't necessarily, like, like once we f decipher the code, I'm not feeling like the gameplay itself is, is more difficult. Oh, missed. No, and, the, like, there's only up, down, left, and right. Yeah. It's a simulation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. I haven't been pressing left. See, I've got an underline of a guy now. What? Ooh. What's going on now? See, I've got the underline. I don't know what that does, but... Let's find out. So now I need to get up. And then I press left, and it underlines him. Okay, so maybe this is going to do I'm more just... to it. <laughs> of what? Yeah. It. Simulates the experience of trying to <laughs> mine now and it's... free up as much data on a cart. <laughs> maybe. I'm just going to do eliminate the bugs. Time. Yeah, luckily we got our power back, which is good. Yeah. Ok, 
Okay, I, I, I underlined all of them. And I got all of them. I don't know. I don't know. That's all I can do. I'll do two more rounds, making them like the gray color now, but... It's a simulation of getting bugs out of a roller. Yeah. So here's another here's another sentence. You can choose to never engage target creatures or choose stakes and instead continually refresh the sheet with new creatures. This will keep the power going. You will not be competing for trophies, however. You may choose this method of playing when you're pressed for time and need to get power back into the machinery quickest. Okay. Maybe that's what I was doing. So it sort I of wasn't sent, getting trophies. Sort of seems like so you can like unusual playing, usual playing. Oh, see if I press left, I'm actually playing that creature, maybe. Oh, and there's look all, at the colors. You see what's odd is there's all these numbers, right? Like, like I look at that. There's yellow, pink. Watch. Yeah. I, I pick a creature, then I go left, and there's green, yellow, and red. Is there anything about green, yellow, and red in there? Let me let me pour through. How is Colored creatures are aesthetic only, changing by band and level by level. Colored light bars are indica indicative of a stake's value for either side. Mm. <laughs> I feel like this is like a huge troll. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of, I'm almost feeling like it's this massive troll where it's just like, you're like, there's bands and there's stakes and there's dogs. <laughs> you're like, what is... What's going on? Help me. I, how did I get a trophy last time? But now I don't know. I can't. I've got no trophies this game, and I accidentally got a trophy. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think Glenn Main is gonna have to do a a, a post mortem on this uh, gameplay we did and go. Oh, you did it all wrong. You weren't doing this at this point. And so here's this is funny, right? Is it just it's like. Light bars, green, yellow, or red animated glyphs indicative of current stake for computer player. It's, you know what I mean? When it's like, it's like when you Almost look at there. a word and it's referring to another word that I don't know yet. See, yeah. See, I can do green, yellow, or red, but I don't know what the stakes for the computer mean. Yeah, and it says stake. I don't know what stake is. Let me see if I can find out what stake means. Because there is, like it shows the computer's on the left, we're on the right somehow. Just don't know. And apparently there are naked and dressed balls. <laughs> you know, like I'm like. <laughs> what? A discovery ball is considered dressed when it has a light bar attached. A discovery ball is considered naked when it has no light bar. When discovered, a creature is shown. It makes the player's creature with only the wedge. At the hit zone. What's a wedge? <laughs> this is the thing. It just it throws these terms where it's like steak, naked, light bar. Like, I, but I have no context for what these mean. Missing the hit zone results in in usually some stakes deducted. So like, stakes can also be deducted, James. I don't know what. But I don't know where the stakes are. And I don't know what the stakes even are. Like, if I go over top of ones I've rolled, it'll show me plus three, plus two, plus w zero, plus one. But I'm happy to let you know that the wedge may move left to right or right to left. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know what a wedge is. Hey, Prizrak. Uh, yeah, we did it at the top of the show. It was uh, super, super cool. Um, so you can rewind. It's like somebody explaining cricket to an American. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's like, oh, that's exactly right it's like this well you can throw but then you can get a miss but if you get a miss you get plus three points but the other team can steal five points if they hit the wicket i'm like you're like what's, what whoa, whoa, wait what's the wicket they're <laughs> Where's like the oh wicket? The, here's my another favorite instruction of mine in or out roll with it <laughs> that's that's one of the things oh my god i don't like so there's something here and we're just almost there we're I, almost there I'm kind of thinking it's a big troll. No, no, no. That's too much work to do a troll. He wouldn't. He he makes games that are very... have a lot of depth to them. Okay, but, cool. But I, I, I just can't grasp this one. I just can't get it. Like, we've got the basics. We know how to roll. We know how to, like, get three different characters. Um, uh, we know how to get our battery up. Uh, we know how to... Like the colors are changing, we know how to 
roll a character. We know how to put a light underneath the character. We don't know what any of this is accomplishing. Like, we don't know how it's moving. Feels like it's based on something like an obscure game on an Apple TV Plus sci-fi show. Yeah, like there might be like there might be actually a source material or something for this game, or it could be entirely Absolutely. original. It feels original because it's just like really, really bizarre. Like, but getting, like yeah, look at getting that. bugs in or out. Roll with it. Yeah, I just and it's under like something called slide. slide. And then we've got discovery balls. Like I, I can't even. <laughs> Where's the discovery ball? But they can be dressed and naked. But dressed and naked discovery ball is that defined dressed or naked? That's what it says, and it says a discovery ball is considered dressed when it has a light bar attached. But what's a discovery ball? And what's a light bar? <laughs> <laughs> and why does it matter whether it's attached? I, Grr, I give up. Thrust. Yeah, we We're, tried. We I tried. I just there's so many definitions. Oh, dude, look at this. Something can be spooky. The bubblegum ghost, lowest stake combining per band. Yeah, like the like. Let's go to this one. That's definitely the bubblegum ghost because it only has a plus one, so that is the lowest stake. Yeah, I kind of get that, but what is spooky? Okay, so we have bugs, which is a pariah rabbit of the criminal underworld who has uh, who has lately taken to outlier twenty six hundred games. So that's the rabbit. That's the pariah rabbit. It's a but criminal. Why is it under bugs. It's it's a bug. And then we got the dog, top dog with highest stakes combined combination per band. Respect the dog and oh. also hate the dog as it stands between you and your next trophy. Okay, we got it. That's spooky. That's a bug. That's a dog. That's top dog, dude. And then we got the then we got the the pariah rabbit. That's the pariah that's rabbit. That's the pariah rabbit. Dressed, I think, is that. You put the band <laughs> band underneath it. Yeah. It's dressed. When it's got a light bar attached, that's a light bar. Okay. But, yeah. Okay, we got that. And naked is when there's nothing underneath, which I you, you can't. There we go. You can definitely get. I can get. Discovered when it when discovered a creature is shown, it will match the player's creature only when the player's correctly haltered their wedge in the hit zone. That's the wedge. That's the wedge. The hit zone's the blue. Okay. Yes! Okay, so we got some... We're, we're getting things. We're... Okay, colors. So colored creatures are aesthetic only, changing by bar and by level. Colored so, light bars are indicated of stakes value. For either side. Okay, so let's... That's the ghost. And then I do a green. It went up to two. Then I do that. It went up to four. Okay. Boom. But why? This is, a, this is a good question. See, uh, we're learning like fundamentally what the like the code is, so that's a good yeah. step. Like deciphering. So should I go up as high as I can on each one of them? Like do red for each one? I really don't know. And there's kind of yellow, so I'll do that. Then I'll do the rabbit, and I'll do a red rabbit, which is huge points. Then I'll do a red dog. Or do we match Three it points. to the color that it is, right? Like, you see what I mean? How, like, this one here is... That's white. Is white? That means plain? Ooh, maybe. Ooh, maybe. Okay, we're getting somewhere. You see, like, maybe the top... Maybe, you know Let's what I mean? Like, the top, the top is that one? reddish? Like, if I do... You tried, like, the yellow? Do you see what I mean? Or like, is it... is it yellow or red? It's kind of in between. Well, that's kind of red. So the previ previous yeah. one... That's kind of red. So that's definitely red. So we'll take that up to red. Yeah, and see the rest are yellow. So, yeah. so we'll do a yellow on this one. Yellow. Try the dog. I think I missed. Yeah, I did. And it doesn't count if we don't hit our JRPG mini game. Oops. Yeah, we need to do the dog again. And that's definitely yellow. Did I miss? Remember that interactive Black Mirror episode that was about the ZX Bandersnatch. Spectrum game set in the early 90s? Yes. Feels like this game could be that. <laughs> oh, I missed. Nope. Okay. Is yellow? I'd say more yellow? Yeah, it's definitely yellow. Let's see what the yellow does. <sighs> if I miss, it doesn't do anything. That's red. 
Why am I missing now that I'm like matching colors? Uh, it's probably harder. Well, oh, maybe. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's do it again. Oop, oop, where am I? Okay, red. Good. Red again. Rabbit. Good. That's red again. Dog. Good. And yellow. And I've got to do a free for all because. Okay, got them all. I don't know. Nothing. I. I match them to their okay, so, colors. So it says, missing the hit zone results in usual sum stakes deducted with yep. this neutral gray red. Missing the hit zone results in sum stakes deducted along with an additional horrible <laughs> amount as defined by current trophy progress. Prevalence and cost of the red slide also depends on uh, uh, current trophy progress. Okay. So if you put red, you get a lot of points, but if you miss, it's even worse than normal. Yeah, so that seems to be like you have stakes, which seem to be... The stakes are plus three, green, plus yellow, four. red. Do you know what I mean? It seems like the green, the yellow, and the red. They add more to it, yeah. So if I miss on red, it's super bad. It's a big deal. But I didn't. It goes up to 99. Uh, direction, left or right, yep. Uh, wedge, blue triangle. See, that needed to be fi defined much earlier, right? Like what? This like it's is. referencing the wedge. I think this instructions just need to be um, rearranged, and with visuals. And in or out, roll with it. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> is so Not funny. yet. It's just what it is. is Almost it's... got it. Almost. It's so we're so close. Okay, read trophy. Like, anything that says trophy. Like how do we read. get trophies? The game is won when every trophy has been collected. Got it. Okay. So that's one. For, okay, I'm going to scan this and anything in reference. Anything about trophy, because that's our goal. We're just going to command F this. Oh, yeah. My F, brain. F, F. Like, oh. T-R-O-P-H-Y. Go. Find first. That's right. Find next. Erlen's brain, Highlight all. Erlen's brain <laughs> will scan at rapid speed. Okay, so even if you never won a thing, everyone gets a trophy for participating. Great. As shown at the game over. So So if you lose, you get one trophy. We already got a trophy. What are we even playing? Maybe for? that's why I got it. One trophy. Um completing a trophy is color striped. Get three to complete a color series. No. I don't know what that means. I don't know. Okay, um uh complete three unique creatures across any number of bands slash levels. So I like, did that. I feel like I've we've done that, feel like so we've done that like times. 90 times. <laughs> yeah, so many times. Series to collect. There are 14 color striped variants. The first right. is a greeny tinged looking thing. The last is goldeny. Right. There's kind of a goldeny at the bottom there. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Okay. Scaling difficulty. The red scale is tied with progressive trophies. So the more colors you transit, more prevalence of red slide as well, worsening cost when missing the hit zone, all due to these trophies. Thanks a lot. <laughs> it says thanks a lot, but it isn't. But it says a lot is in like it's one word. Okay, you know how it's like yeah, a, a, lot. a lot, a lot. The creature known as a lot. You'll be shown the trophies you've accumulated when the game is over. Oh, so the last time I saw the trophy, what is? Um, but how do you like win it without like losing all your battery you power? Just send this out. This, out. this is great. <laughs> You'll be shown the trophies you've accumulated. What is, what could have been, and why exactly does the slide reverse whenever you're going for the dog question mark? <laughs> it has question mark at the end of that? At the end of it. Look at this. What is, what could have been, and what exactly does the slide reverse whenever you're going for the dog question mark? Whoa. <laughs> That's what happens when the game's over, is you find out what is, what could have been, and what exactly does the slide reverse mean when you're going for I'm going to go for all dog red, then. Let's see if I can get all dog red, which is the hardest one. The game is lost whenever the last of the power has been depleted. It's a very oh, obvious event, sense. really. There are dooming sounds and a frozen terror situation with the roller. It's true. Yep. 
What's, but, so what's interesting is losing is like almost close to impossible, but winning is close to impossible as well. Yeah. So you're sort of in this purgatory of trying to kind of now I'm in purple mode. Figure out like what's going on, and you can never know how what is what will happen or what has become until you die. Um, True. So it's like it's a really harsh game in a way because you kind of have to die to know like how to you know how you did. Yeah. But then you're dead and you can't keep playing and you really don't know what happened to that dog. Oh, is that what it's trying to say? Like you don't know if you've won till you die, or how how well you've done, or what the or what's going on with the dog, <laughs> and if you die, you will find out what was, what will become, and what is, and the dog. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to get all. Four no, sorry, dogs. The, rev the the slide reverse. Whenever you're going for the dog, four dogs on hard. <laughs> Maybe you have some setting that blocks spending anything, even points. Maybe some weird parental control. Yeah, we <laughs> got this on control. like a safe search on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> We're like trying to Google image search. We're like, damn it, I can't find the images I want. <laughs> That's right. Four dogs. Dog. Okay, what now up? I'm just going to die. I'm just gonna roll terribly. Oh, what is this? Ah, <gasps> if you roll without specifying. It changes those colors. <gasps> what is that? Do I just match those now? Is that good? Were, were we supposed to be rolling the whole time? Oh, dude, the demented rabbit. You went for it? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to get a green. Shit. His ad blocker was the culprit. I think some... I think some... Some cat zone oh, I missed might it. happen soon. It. Gotta get that. It's tree time. It's tree time. There we go, dude. Thrust. We thrust has been trying to figure this out for the last ten. Oh, I can't change these colors. Ten minutes. Tree so time. Well I will continue to deduce. To deduce. Because I think I just discovered a new thing in this. Because I can change the colors of the guys on the left. Okay, cats. Are you ready for round two? Whoa. Which one's which? Oh, they don't care. Some. There you go. But they always. Oh, Atari's off to a quick start. There you go, Atari. Nice. Hey, Sprite. Sprite this is, is your confused. Game to win, buddy. Oh, is, is your, a soft is hit. Your, you didn't your, get it. Your game to always win. Oh, Sprite gets one. Atari's <gasps> in the lead. He's in the lead. He's been ramping up his powers. Oh, Sprite gets another one. Now they're tied up. Atari's figured out the game again. Oh. He's on point. It's 3-2 for Atari. He's in the lead. Atari. Sprite is confused. He's looking at the treats. He's softly touching his bell. Nope. Still no rings. Oh, Atari is ahead by two. What is this? This is out of control. Dog. Whoever's... Pl oh, that was what? a soft I'll one, give but it still I'll counts. Give it to you, buddy. Still counts. Oh, another soft ring by Atari. Nice one. He had to chase it. Still ahead by two. This is unprecedented. Who's put their bets on Atari is going to pay off today. Sprite is four now. Six. Oh, Atari keeps the lead. Six, four for Atari. Sprite is just watching Atari eat. Oh, is Atari going to get it? <gasps> Atari's the head by three. I feel like that was double. I saw them oh, both hit you? at the same okay, time. Okay, we'll yeah. give a Sprite another one It was a perfectly well. timed one, but I'm going to give it to both of them. The hunger. I hunger. Oh, Atari gets it. Sprite did not get that one It simultaneously, but it did not ring. Still not ringing. Sprite is a soft touch right now. Oh, both of them get it. It is game point for Atari. Is that it? Did he it... is ahead by three at this okay, moment. Okay, one, one more, Sprite is, has no chance. Oh, Sprite gets one. Atari. Atari needs to just ring one more bell. Oh, he doesn't get it. He glances it off. He still oh, misses. Oh. It's your game to lose. He gets it. Atari wins 10-7. Redemption. Redemption. Very good. Cool. I'm going to ditch some. Yeah. You give a couple to them. There we go. Very nice gameplay. Oh, I got it. I should change. I should put that uh, sample in from uh, a Sinistar. <laughs> it's the enemy. It says, I hunger. I hunger. That'd be perfect for this game. Okay. 
So, uh, we still have 71 battery, and I haven't been paying attention to it. So, Dude, Caleb, we got infinite battery if we just keep playing the... The simple game? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, we can do this. Okay. So now I can do... A, a, oh, I can't. What? How did I do it? Oh, I roll it. I press a button. So there's a yellow. Then I'm going to get this guy in yellow. Now they're matching. So now we're gonna get the get a uh, orange one. We're gonna go for the rabbit. Let's do the rabbit. Oh, I didn't specify an you orange. Didn't do the orange. Oh, that's okay. Now let's get orange again. Orange rabbit. Got it. And now for the last one, which is gonna be a red or uh, a green. Oh. Can't do it. No. It's okay. I think they. I think something. I, I think it's up. just the stakes. So I think you should try to get this guy. Get our dog. Yeah. Oh, I missed. <sighs> Torture. But we see those double greens things. Do you see that? I don't know what that indicates. Oh, that's good. Maybe. Okay. Oh, it's saying a dog. Oh, it's a dog. So maybe maybe do maybe try the dog, for this one. You see what I mean? Okay. We're just saying like dog there. Like, oh yeah, okay. Maybe and maybe we'll match it up. Yellow. Oh, but he's a, a red dog. Ooh. Okay, we'll get a red dog. Oh, see, I got a trophy. Is that it a trophy? Does, does show a trophy. Oh, okay. Okay, let's. Oops. I gotta go back. Oh, look. See what it, it's it's showing. I can I can do a red guy. There we go. Cool. Um, we'll do red. Stakes are high, dude. Yes, they are high, and I got it. Okay, we can now. We can do um, a red. Nope, it's forced me to do a red. That's fine, and it and it says do the rabbit. Okay, <laughs> and now I have a free for all. Oh, I can do a green one now. But it wants me to do a red dog. I won't. I do want to do a green. Okay. So I, I mean, see. It's, it's I see. Some... And I see two flashing green things on the bottom. So I'm gonna do what it says now. Um. Oh, it's a purple. <laughs> Sorry. How can I do a purple dog? Weird. Well, I'll do a dog because it wants me to do a dog. I'll just do what it says this time. Let's try it. Missed. Ah. Let's do a dog. Got it. Another trophy. Now we're winning. Now we're winning. Yellow. Do the ghost. But like. It's also shocking to me that the trophy doesn't have like a like like a dopamine sound. Do you know what I mean? It's just like it, it, like I could have missed it. Like I could have totally missed the trophy sound. Like the trophy does it, does it even have a sound related to it? It had some sound, but I missed it. Okay, no, now now what? We just keep doing that. It seemed to get the trophies, so like. Like I'm not much of a slots guy. Like I've never done it, but you know, like when you another trophy. But you know, like when you like I've got all three. When you pull like a slot machine, it's like yeah. ding, 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 ding. Like that would be so sick if there was some. Like if we, if I wasn't looking up there, I would have not known that we got three trophies. Yeah, exactly. You got to know where to look for this one. Ooh, could it could I have continued there? It stayed on the screen. <gasps> After this down. show, someone should write some new instructions. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's hard. Okay. It is in some ways like those old school kind of Atari games, like the um, um, uh, the like the ET one being a good example, yes. where like if you just pick it up and like plug it in, you're you're just you're fucked. Toast. You're like you're there's toast. no. But if you like understand like what the purpose of the game is, and you have some instructions. Like apparently some people like actually think ET is one of their favorite games if you know it's, the instructions it's and you. It's a decent adventure game. But um, decent but if, RPG type but, of thing. You have to pick up pieces and 
call your ship and avoid the bad guys and look around. But what makes it a meme is the fact that, like, if without those instructions, it's literally, toast. there's no chance. Yeah. Look, I've got all... T <gasps> you know what? Those bars indicate what level of trophy you're on, maybe? Uh... I think it's an interesting it, it, uh, it's, oh, it's an interesting nice, game though in that like nice um uh it's an interesting game in that like it doesn't it's not hard okay. in in like the in like a kind of like skill yeah no. way but it's hard in terms of like fundamentally understanding what we're doing which yes. is an interesting kind of like in a way it's a like it's a it's a big gamble to be like yo <laughs> the user experience it makes no sense from <laughs> first glance. No. Oh, um, yes. And that's really the challenge rating of the game is like the fundamental, like, you know, understanding, understanding. fun. And that's, a, that's, that's quite the gamble to make actually as, a, as a game developer, oh. but it does, but it's not, there's nothing wrong with that at all. It's nope. not, there's nothing negative about that, but it is, it's, it's definitely a, a bit of a gamble, right? Like, like on an Atari 2600 where you don't have the chance to put a lot on the screen to explain. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's dangerous, right? to make a game where you can't just pick up and play it like you literally have to read the instructions and when you figure it out you're like this is actually not that hard that's the kind of interesting thing too is it's I'm like doing it this is what you're supposed to be doing because now that we're doing it i'm like if you understand what's going on you could win this game every time like <laughs> yes and if you start it to run out of, and if you start to run out of battery power you just like charge yourself up by getting a bunch of like free ones and then keep playing right yeah. which he even says in the instructions he's like usual usual playing is like try to win and unusual playing is you can choose to never engage target creatures or stakes right. and just continually refresh the sheet with new creatures to keep your power going up so like let's say you start to go down to 10 power you just juice your power up go back to things it kind of is just like a time investment yep so uh, uh i don't know i don't know what's going on now i've gotten good trophies and gotten three trophies definitely three maybe four i think there's 14 we have to get right oh god really well there's another three like it's only showing three but is that the three that we already have or does it mean we have new ones it's hard to know like how does it display trophies like, like the game is won when every trophy is collected and i believe i read somewhere that there's 14 trophies right I don't remember where I read that though. It's somewhere here. What are those? Are you able to find what those flashing green things are? Because that's Ooh. that's going up and down. Let me like, let me see. Look I'm in gonna... the in the picture, the overview picture. Is it... Unique creatures got. That's oh, that must be per screen. Yeah. So also what that means is it's an indication of like how well you're doing. Okay. Well, I'm gonna die now. And you can die pretty quick by just going super stakes. So you go three, and then just go plus six and just fail out. Like fail out hard every time. Oh, you go red. That's what you do. Because yeah, red do. is like super fail. Gives you bonus fail points. <laughs> And I think the dog is the biggest one. So if you go oh, red yeah. dog, right, you're going to That's just... right. So let's do the dog. Uh, dog. Red dog. Miss on the red dog, you're going to die. There we go. So we actually only had one trophy. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't do anything in the game. We didn't do anything we in the game. We got one trophy, which is you get it automatically. Like, you don't, I did, we earn no trophies, really. Zero trophies. So I can't say I'd recommend this game. No. <laughs> well, I think we just need to understand it more. Yeah. So the challenge of the game is the instructions. It uh, is. For now. We were getting we were chipping away at we it. We were figuring it out, man. I think we, we got about slowly... half this game. Over half. We understand about ha over half this game. I don't understand the trophies or the matching or the like Or fundamentally what we're doing. Well, we have to get trophies. <laughs> a trophy for trying? Yep. We got a trophy right, for dude. trying. 14 unique colors to win the game. Play through all stripes. 
Oh, see, I didn't get up in the stripes, but I was matching. Maybe this is one that we revisit after <laughs> we've learned some stuff from the internet. I think so. Perhaps I, there's like perhaps there's some instructions we can get even from our our fellow Twitch viewers. Maybe who, can, who, who and maybe maybe hopefully some some smarter people than us can can try to sort of like play it a bit play it play it out and then, and then give us some suggestions because i'd love to i'd love to like give this another chance i feel like i'm i feel this is a game that makes me feel dumb yeah and i don't mean, and i don't mean that as in like the game's doing that but i walk away from this feeling being like i'm not smart enough to do this i need like other people which is again yeah. a, which is again an interesting like ux thing is this like do you want your game <laughs> do you want yeah. your players to feel dumb yeah i, I really want to understand it um it's Glenn Main uh, who made the game. It it looks and operates great. It's like, beautiful. There's a lot going on. And also on. this like rolling and the bug idea and all these options and like there's something there like a hundred percent. I feel like I'm just like I'm not smart We're enough to know some, how to do it. We're missing some fundamental thing, and we got some of it. But uh, yeah, I think a rewrite of the instructions and maybe a um, a visual like a video showing the basics of it it's like and like get this to do this you have to roll this watch the colors go up then you like literally how do you get a trophy how do you i get, don't understand how do you get a trophy and it would be so awesome because they were going on the screen we got three you there can was one two you three. can you don't have to like change anything no if you but like it'd be so nice to have the like trophies like on screen so i feel like there's a feeling of progression like i'm like oh like on the did. bottom left it's oh like, yeah like do you know what i mean like, like even it's like, even yellow dots some like indication representing trophies and that when i get a trophy it'd be One. awesome to have a sound of being like bling ding 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 ding, 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 ding you know ding, some ding, feeling ding, of like because we got that it was amazing to me that we got this trophy and like if we didn't yeah. see it in like the second that it flashed because he could use play field along the bottom one more row in yellow and one dot every trophy there's plenty of room like a dot and a space you could do 20 trophies so there's plenty of room center them on the screen and add them up as you get them because yeah. then you don't have to wait till the end of the game to go did i get them all because i we didn't understand like did we get a trophy did we not it, looks it was like, flashing well one, i saw two, trophies three. but but in the end we only had one trophy which is zero trophies really yeah, yeah. It's like the opposite of those elaborate manuals from Atari. They wrote this elaborate backstory about the space armadas and energy shields and secret forces, and it's for hitting a ball with a paddle to clear bricks. It's so yeah. true, right? Yeah. Like, this is visually complex, um, but the instructions are not quite there. Like, th if they were rearranged, like, this is a dog. This is the ghost. This is this. How you get a trophy is do this, 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 and this very plainly I but think, but yeah. it almost seems to me like with this game like if they did that then the challenge of the game's over like it almost seems like the point of the game is to be this really complicated puzzle right. and once you solve that the game itself actually isn't hard and i that's fine but it's, i think these are there's just a there's a huge there's a gap that we can't leave there's over. a there's quite the floor yeah <laughs> of this game you know like like barrier to entry yeah uh, so, uh, the games we played today are Meow, a cute, fun game of collecting. Yeah, and it's awesome. Um, I think the only thing about Meow that I would remark is that it feels like it scales so fast yeah. that it actually doesn't, it doesn't promote me to play for a really long time. Like, even if it, like, actually took longer to, to reach that ludicrous speed, it hits this, these level, a level of speed so fast that, like, that it's actually, like, such, it's a fast game. You like, there is an end. You will die within about less than three minutes yeah and like, i can like I, it, as soon as it does this 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 you're dead because you can't pause you don't have enough pausing it's exactly right but that's that's maybe fine maybe it's made for short games but there's no way you can do infinite continues infinite marathons you will hit a wall yeah and it's kind of like if you can break a thousand you're like the best and then if you oh, can break yeah, yeah. if you can break break twelve hundred, you're like <laughs> you're you know it's not as it's not necessarily like and that's you know it's there's nothing wrong with that but that is yeah, um, the game does need fractional uh, spree, speed increases. It looks like it doubles, like one, two, three, instead of uh, fractional uh, number increases. Um, and then what was the second game? Space, oh, Space Instigators. Instigators. Dude, this is it's classic. So Great classic. translation. It plays awesome. Um, in his to-do list, after he does that, 
no notes. It's it oh, works. Yeah. I mean, it's it is it's exactly what you want. And Thrust puts it so well. I have no idea if the game sucks, is great, or in between for the last one we played. So right, I I kind of can't even give a review of it. Yeah. I feel like I'm missing something. And yeah. all I can say as a user of the game is I walk away. Um, feeling not smart <laughs> and like um, I'm not understanding something yeah. and with no kind of like path forward which I think is a quite a dicey place to leave a player if you want them to continue to engage in, in a game uh, the score uh, was Atari 10 Sprite 7 oh, Atari. He, uh, he dominated that like he was really fast good. at eating uh, Sprite was a little confused at points but even though he was confused, he still played well. Sprite played pretty normally. Yeah. Just Atari was on it. Immediately went right to the bell. Ding. Um, so coming up on the show, uh, we are going to be playing, it looks like Lynx Games next show. Uh, most likely. So that'll be on a Tuesday with Tanya. Next Friday, we have an exclusive work in progress update of Excuse Turbo me. Arcade from Champ Games. That'll be with Darcy. Complete reworking of Turbo Arcade. We're going to get the foot pedals out. You do not want to miss that. It is a complete rewrite. I don't want to tell you what the upgrades are because it's unbelievable. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, and then um, I'll be back in a couple weeks for uh, yes. TBD. <laughs> yes, TBD. Yeah, Aaron's back in the 30th for some TBDing. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm always pumped for TBD. Yeah, so we don't know what, what's going to happen there. Uh, and I'm super down to revisit that last game sometime in the future. If we, I think if so. We, it does need a revisit. Stuff. I don't want to leave it there. No, it's not. It's not fair to what it is. No. But it's also fair for us to express um, how the game made me feel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> in its current because it's gonna. I, I want to help the developer. I want it to be a game that everybody can understand and enjoy and play. Absolutely. And that's partly why we play the games on the show is to help the developers. Even like, oh, there's a bug. This one was like there's a there's a gap in understanding yeah. how to play and the instructions just need to be reorganized and rewritten and then I think it's it'll be a fun totally. game. There's lots of things and, going and on. And definitely a niche game currently yeah. and um and you can choose whether you want to open that niche up to be wider as well. Yeah. We should have a whole year where all the homebrewers are given names starting with the initials T B D <laughs> to be determined. Yeah. That would be funny. Turbo boost direct i don't know <laughs> yeah oh thank you for tuning in rendered ghost uh what else we have coming up a ColecoVision special um jaguar rotary controller special part two that might be coming sooner than later because uh, some tbd yeah. still hanging yeah, some, out there coming up pretty quick tank ballistic deployment oh that's a good <laughs> one <laughs> yep there's one to throw out somebody can use that <laughs> just get some tanks in there some shooting some ballistic missiles some ballistic some, missiles. some, some deployment some happens nice arcing yeah um thanks for tuning in rc70 rendered ghost chalice donnie mound gamma dev dan abc thrust um ooh, a lot of the same people uh prizrak thank you for doing um the uh this star pass supercharger yeah. hookup for the internet very cool addition to the plus plus store uh neo media we got a little uh, raid which was so yeah, nice nice Thank raid you so much with, with julian zuka and uh commando awesome to see people raiding Dude, commando uh s for mirrors uh kiki pdph thank you so much for yeah, making that thank you that meow game super cool the graphics were astounding like absolutely astounding my rendering at the top <laughs> is so good like it's unbelievable so beautiful in four hours sprite. man I, so I, crazy in four hours i would make something that wouldn't run in four hours <laughs> i would struggle minutes. to open the software <laughs> <laughs> to make the game yeah uh, he, he might get it installed by that point yeah i might i might realize like yeah this I, is I, not for me. I just update my computer and i'm like oh God, you're still I... waiting for the windows update to finish yeah. uh beef supreme dr moo cows ivory tower collections uh who else oh oh Yo. fail it's okay. up here there's lots of room there you go um thank you so much everybody so make sure you, you tune in on tuesday for tanya tuesdays with tanya tuesdays with tanya and oh, uh, the alliteration is beautiful it's you gotta go with alliteration Dude, the tuesday with tanya presents you 
with 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 an opportunity always go for alliteration the hair the hair put that graphic on a t-shirt i don't know if i'd want myself on a t-shirt <laughs> like i that, know i would that big that big especially if you wear it that's Ooh, that's rough i don't know uh, maybe that... i would i'd let other people wear it. here's the thing if it were like okay. if it were if it were really pixelated and almost like a like an icon i think it's different than an actual like jpeg photorealistic of, of i you. think that's better that that much not so realistic yeah maybe i'll throw it on a t-shirt if somebody wants it i'll, I'll ask um i'll ask um kiki pdph first if i can yeah um but yeah with the joystick it's perfect. That'd be pretty cool. Well, people on the on the show would be pumped to Maybe. have it. I and I think would the, they wear me. I don't know. Well, the more the more ape it it is, the the more they. Isn't hers? Tanya wears yours. You wear hers. Well, somebody will have to make her in that big of a yeah a graphic. Know. I'll have to get him to make an alternate version. That's right. Where it's Tanya up there, and then another alternate version where it's Sprite at the bottom. That's right. So she controls Sprite in her game. I control Atari in mine. Hmm. Put it on the pocket. Pocket face. That's funny. Or like you open the pocket and you're in that pocket. <laughs> Have you seen those ones? Where the where the graphics in the pocket and you can only see it oh, where you open so it. That's so cool. And they have like their little hands on the outside of the pocket. Yeah, like like a pocket like this. You go, oh, you oh it's a cat. That. Oh <laughs> so good. Yeah. Or ones where it's a like a cat giving the finger where you yeah. open it up. So funny. Uh thanks for tuning in. Uh have a great weekend. Everyone, yeah, it's everyone Friday. Have, have an Enjoy. awesome weekend. Enjoy life and Pet your thanks, cats. thanks for playing some games. And you've had a week off. I've had a week off. Did you yeah. got, it continues into this weekend, and then you're back. Yeah, next back week. next Monday. How was the week? Oh, it's been really it's fun. good, relaxing. It's been Doing really, what you want. really nice. Yeah, excellent. We'll continue that into the weekend. Uh, so thanks, uh, everyone, and uh, we will see you on Tuesday. Bye, bye, bye everyone. Bye. Thank bye -bye. you.